Hello dear viewers, thank you for choosing the Manwa compilation channel. Please leave feedback in the comments after watching, enjoy watching. Under the rumble of thunder, a flock of birds flew into the sky, and the striking lightning divided the stone mountain into two parts. At its top, two men fought tooth and nail. And even without feeling support under their feet, falling down they did not stop striking each other. Bang! This younger man, skillfully wielding a sword, repelled the enemy's attack on himself. Who, turning head over heels, crashed into a rock and getting out from under a pile of stones, dodged the strong hand of the enemy. But having concentrated and not again, they grappled in a crazy death grip in which a draw won again. Among the piles of dust could be seen the face of an old man whose name was Dugu Kubei. He was the owner of the surrounding lands. Gray hair and beard were a sign of long centuries lived, but the wrinkles on the face had not yet known all the vanity of the living. You are truly capable of competing with me for the number one spot in this world. It's just a pity that you're still too young, he said, rubbing his shoulder. There was blood on his clothes, but it didn't belong to him. His words were addressed to a young man exhausted from battle. He is the main character of our story. It seemed that at his peak of glory he was only supposed to win. But fate decided to make its own adjustments with the help of obstacles that lasted several decades. The man was handsome, but blood from his wounds stained his face, and dirt matted his long black hair. He was given the name Zhang Chen at birth. But now he regretted only one thing. Now he would no longer have the opportunity to study the art of swordsmanship, and in order to win this battle, he would have to sacrifice something. Taking a deep breath, Chen prepared to experience post-mortem pain. Summoned by the Law of the Sword of Azaleth and the Divine Sword, in other words, he united his blade and soul. Dozens of lightning bolts from below struck his sword, filling it with divine power. When the artifact was ready, Chen, gritting his teeth and gathering his last strength, took aim and threw the weapon at his opponent. Having predicted his actions, Dugu Kyubi summoned a protective shield, but the young man's sword managed to pierce it too. How is this even possible? The old man didn't understand, watching as the hole from the sword in his chest became larger and larger, destroying his body. However, such a breakthrough took all the life-giving forces from our hero and unable to stay on his feet, he fell like a stone. Before he crashed, he opened his eyes for the last time. Sky. It changed color, as if the whole world was under a kind of dome and now a crack appeared in it, which became larger and larger. And now there was a gaping hole in the sky that, like a tornado, sucked everything into itself. And the closer our hero fell down, the more darkness surrounded him. Suddenly, through the veil of wind, he heard a young girl's voice. Let's go, young master, he called. Am I not dead? Where I am? Immediately flashed through Chen's head. Opening his eyes, he saw in front of him a charming, sweet, light brown girl. It's time for dinner, young master, she said, stretching the linen film in her hands. After all, in front of her lay the most ordinary six-month-old baby, who, seeing how the straps from her dress were about to fall and open her chest, became indignant. Hey, get your big melons away from me. Aren't you ashamed? Needless to say, the girl did not expect such behavior from the little one. Mister, my lady, your son has started talking. The nanny hurried to tell everyone the good news, throwing the film as she ran. Meanwhile, the boy was perplexed. Why did the girl standing next to him call him young master? And why did he suddenly become so small, and even surprised at the small size of his genital organ? Besides, the last thing he remembered was a mortal battle with Kyubei. As a result, they were both mortally wounded, and it was at that moment that the sky changed its light. A sudden thought occurred to our hero. Since the color of the sky has changed, it means he has broken through to a new spiritual level. But what is this strange place in which he is located? And the situation around was somehow strange. Maybe he was reborn on another continent? So, even though I killed old man Dugu, his remains are still there. We must hurry back to the sect, Chen thought. And as far as his small infant body allowed him, he began to crawl naked out of the cradle on his own. My son is only six months old. How could he start talking? Maybe breastfeeding is causing you to hallucinate. The father entering the room questioned the nanny's words. But when he heard that his own son demanded that he be immediately returned back to Mount Tanijian, his joy knew no bounds. Grabbing the baby, he lifted him high up, circling around the room, although our hero did not like it. Xiang Tian actually spoke. Has a child chosen by heaven appeared in our family? The father said. Congratulations, sir. Your baby is only six months old, but he is already talking. Perhaps the young master will become a great expert. 
the servant rejoiced with him. What other family? Let me go. I need to get home quickly. Our hero was indignant, trying to evade the prickly cheek of his new father. A little later, after observing the world around him, he realized that he had been reborn in a completely different world called Tianyuan. He himself was born into the Changguan family and was the fourth son of his father, having the name Xiang Tian. After word spread that he spoke at six months, there was no end to those who wanted to cuddle him in their arms, although he himself was not happy about such attention. However, our hero retained memories from his past life, so for now he was trying to figure out how to get back. And for this, he had to start practicing the law of the Azulet Sword again, which he began to do literally from the cradle. Four years passed in crazy training, and the day came when the fourth lord of the Changyuan family had to pass the test of holy power. Our hero sincerely believed that after these three years of training, he would be able to amaze everyone with his talent. In his support, many people came to the main square where the competition was supposed to take place to look at his strength. With my power, won't I scare everyone watching to death? Chen thought arrogantly, looking around at those around him. In the middle of the square stood a magical stone carved a thousand years ago. Young master, come and offer your palm to the stone, asked the gray-haired old man standing next to him, who was the brother of Ba's father to the Changguan family. The boy obeyed his order. As soon as the palm touched the stone, the air near it swayed, and the sign of a cross was clearly engraved on the stone. What does this symbol mean? He says I'm cool. Seeing the sign, our hero demanded an explanation. In response, the old man looked away. Well, how can I say testing showed that you cannot use holy power? Old man Day was upset. From his words, even the boy's heart began to beat slower and quieter. After all, in simple terms, this means that he is completely mediocre. But the public did not lose hope. Young master, we will always support you. Young master is definitely the chosen one, the crowd shouted. Finally, I see how young Master Tian will become the chosen one of our house. I shed tears on my beard, and our hero's grandfather on his father's side rejoiced. He was so confident in his grandson that he was a little out of touch with reality. The test is completed. The young master has no holy power, Grandfather D announced publicly. What? Our hero's grandfather asked, almost choking on tears mixed with snot. The crowd was no less discouraged than he, not believing that young Master Tian could not cultivate his holy power. But then everyone fell silent at once when Cheng Wan Ba, the head of the family and the father of our hero, rose from his seat. Uncle, you said that my son is not capable of cultivation? He asked, clarifying the situation. Sitting on his right hand was Bi Yun Tian, Shen Tian's mother and her fourth wife. Looking at this miniature beauty, it was clear where our hero got such blue crystal eyes. But on the left side of the head of the family sat the third wife, Bai Yun Shuang. She had a shock of red hair that glowed in the sun, and her white, almost transparent skin never had any traces of the sun on it. Am I a cripple? Grandpa D, this can't be. The stone is probably broken, Chen said, pointing to the artifact. The old man gave in to his request and decided to conduct another test using his eyes of insight, where he scanned the boy's body for the presence of holy power. Everyone waited with bated breath for the verdict to be announced. Closing his eyes, the old man shook his head disappointingly. What could be wrong? Maybe you can arrange another check. Our hero began to beg, scratching his head. But the old man had already checked everything thoroughly, and there was no holy power in the body of the fourth junior master of the Changguan family. This meant that he could not cultivate. Hearing the final conclusion, Ba mourned. He wanted to give up everything and hide from everyone, but he could not lose his face because for the last almost four years, they had only talked about his younger genius. The eyes of our hero's mother also lost their happy sparkle. No, she loved her boy in every way, but now his life will be filled with troubles. Oh my God, how can a genius who used a lot of family resources every month be so useless? The third wife clasped her hands in feigned fear and standing up with a jerk, she addressed the assembled crowd so that they remove all these shameful posters, since their young master is no longer a genius. Fearing her wrath, the crowd left the square, folding up their posters. But how can that be? All these years, every day I practice the law of the Azaleth Sword. How can I not have holy power when I have already made great progress? Our hero was perplexed. After all, the essence in this world is much denser than in the past, so cultivation had to be more dense. So what's the problem? 
suddenly a guess arose in his head. The first level of the law of the Azulet sword was to improve the body, so Chen combined it with his holy power for high-quality purification, and therefore everyone thinks that there is none inside him. Realizing this truth, our hero calmed down. Still, this is much better than realizing that you don't know how and can't do anything. My lord, since the son of your fourth wife turned out to be crippled, the future of the great Chengguan family lies with our son heir. Yu Shuang crept up to her husband like a snake. Stop it, I know. Ba broke up with her and ordered that from today all resources allocated for the fourth son will be transferred to heir, and also the money allocated to the fourth wife will be halved. This father's attitude towards himself outraged our hero. He considered it vile since his son turned out to be incompetent, for the attitude towards him to change so much. Before leaving the square, Mr. Changguan, passing by his fourth son, met his gaze. And under a smug smile, Shuang, having rejected his fourth wife, left. Sister, you raised such a worthless son. It must be very difficult for you right now. Shuang gloated, passing by Yun, following Ba, who decided to remain silent in response. Young master, do not blame the head of the family for such a cruel decision. After all, he is responsible for the entire family. Grandfather D tried to soften the situation with his conversations, but maybe it's better then. Since the father has his reasons, our hero now has his own. Having looked around the square, the boy went upstairs to his mother and sat down opposite her and asked her forgiveness because he had let him down. But looking into the face of his loved one, he did not see even a shadow of sadness. So what if you can't cultivate? This means you must have talents in other areas. When the time comes, you will show them what you are worth. Don't be upset, Xian Tian. Your mother is next to you, and she will not allow anyone to hurt you, Yun assured him, hugging her son and hugging him. And inhaling the aroma of her son's hair, she repeated over and over again that he was the best. The kindness of the mother brought our hero to tears, because in a past life he was an orphan from birth and never knew parental love. Don't worry, I will never disappoint you again for your sake. I will shut up everyone who goes against me, he promised, looking straight into the woman's eyes. It was as if a rose began to glow at his words. Yun. Yes, of course. Mom will always believe in you. She supported in response. I will use all my knowledge and power to change the minds of these snobs. Our hero swore in his heart. Time passed and Jiang Chen turned seven years old. For the past three years, he has been sneaking into the Changguan family's home library at night, secretly from everyone. The library had several rooms and was filled from floor to ceiling with various books and artifacts. In order not to attract attention, the boy did not even take a candle or lantern with him, and, having arranged for himself a secluded place between the shelf and the window, he read in the light of the moon. Finally, wearily closing his eyes, our hero slammed the book shut. Today he read the last book in the family library, and there were more than several thousand of them. Well, it was time to try to combine the techniques from the books we read with the law of the Ozule Ball and see how strong it becomes. Stand in the middle of the hall and concentrate, redirecting spiritual power from your heart to your right hand. And without swinging, he ran up to the wall, hitting it with his hand. Then he looked at the result, which pleasantly pleased him. The trace of his hand was clearly imprinted on the wall, from which cracks appeared. Three years ago, I united my body with holy power. Now I no longer need to spend it on my tempering. My cultivation is progressing very quickly, Chen thought happily and trying to move on his toes so that the floorboards of the house would not creak. He took roundabout routes to his chambers, because his mother should not find out that he was secretly practicing. To be honest, it's difficult to call the wing of the mansion that Chang Yang Ba allocated to his fourth wife and son a chamber. In the middle of the small hall, there was a table covered with a faded tablecloth. Around it, instead of chairs, there were several barrels, playing the role of chairs. A little further away, there were two beds. The bed linen was not silk, but woven from coarse linen. There was also no decor. Because of what happened three years ago, mother and son not only lived without furniture, but they were also deprived of food. For example, today they were served a plate of sliced cucumbers for breakfast. However, Yun, as always, did not lose optimism. Son, you have to remember something. No matter how difficult the circumstances, you must be a man of high standards. The mother taught the mind to reason, putting several cucumber slices on her face. Sorry, mom. If I weren't a cripple, you wouldn't have to suffer so much. For the umpteenth time lately, Chen regretted. Not wanting to listen to his apologies, Yun shoved a piece of cucumber into his mouth, 
Well, what kind of nonsense? Listen carefully. Even though this is a primitive food, it is still healthy. Cucumbers are great for removing fat. You killed two birds with one stone, right? She laughed, putting a cucumber mask on her face and her son's. Moreover, she heard amazing news. It turns out that the third wife recently bought expensive skincare products, which caused her to have problems and her whole face was swollen. Mother and son laughed for a long time at this story. Suddenly Yoon came to her senses. Pulling a piece of paper from her pocket, she handed it to our hero. There was a book to read for today, as well as an assignment he had to complete. Having smelled what the boy smelled, he began to pretend to be a little naughty, saying, how can he just read a book? And besides, these assignments were quite difficult to write. Well, he couldn't actually admit that he had already read the entire library of the Changyuan family. However, Yoon did not know what her son was doing at night. And therefore, since the boy cannot cultivate holy power, he could only rely on knowledge to achieve a bright future. And therefore she herself monitored the development of her offspring. After her words, our hero doubted. Could he really tell her that he can actually use holy power? Our hero felt in his heart that if he told, it wouldn't be enough. They will ask him doubly pressing on him with renewed vigor. So the boy abandoned this idea. In addition, Yun had one positive character trait on the one hand and a negative character trait on the other. She was happy to burst into flames with new ideas and taking a deep breath, our hero promised that he would still go to the library and read. Patting her son on the head, Yun reminded him to check his homework that night. On the way to the library, our hero chewed a cucumber and thought, now there were no unread books available to him and he didn't want to do his homework. So he asked himself, where should he spend his time? Passing by the kitchen, his nose caught a sweetish aroma, which belonged to my mother's favorite carrot cake. And focusing on the smell, Chen went hunting. Trying to remain unnoticed, he made his way into the kitchen and there in front of him on a crystal plate lay several pieces of freshly baked carrot cake. Delighted by such luck, the boy was already reaching out to grab one of them but then the plate rose above his head. Chu, being an ordinary servant, aren't you afraid of being punished for treating the young master of the Changguan family this way? Was heard from the smokehouse. Raising his head, our hero saw a grinning cook in front of him. This kid is clearly provoking me. Chu took the blame off himself, teasing Chen with a plate of pie. The boy didn't like this attitude, but now the only thing he was thinking about was how to take the pie. I am the servant of the third mistress and the fourth mistress has no right to tell me, let alone her son. Although I remember the fourth lady loves carrot cakes, her son is so caring, Q continued to tease. Give me the pie, Chen asked in a calm tone, holding out his hand. But Chu did not take his words seriously and continued to tease him. Other cooks joined in his insults. They called our hero a non-entity, because it is because of him that the fourth lady cannot even eat ordinary carrot cake, and they both remain in the Changguang mansion, only thanks to the kindness of the head. Otherwise, they would have been thrown out a long time ago. But Jiang listened patiently to the humiliation. Give me the pie, he asked again, full of determination. Oops, my hand trembled. Chu laughed and removed his hand behind his back. The plate with the pie broke and fell to the floor. When the muffled sound of the plate died down, our hero seemed to have broken free in chains. Jumping up and concentrating spiritual power in his fist, he hit the cook in the jaw. So much so that the man lost several teeth and losing consciousness and choking on blood, fell on his back. Because of the support of Mr. Changguan's third wife, you have allowed yourself too much over the past three years. So it's time to put you in your place. Chen grinned, rubbing his fists. And when the cooks looked into his face full of determination, they felt uneasy. But no matter how hard they tried, each of them tasted the boy's fists. Our hero, on the one hand, really wanted to give the snob a thrashing. And on the other hand, he needed a warm-up to practice his spiritual power, and he gladly took advantage of this chance. And when punishing another cook, he showed originality. With the help of telepathy, Chen broke the plates over the man's head. However, he tried so hard only on the servants of the third mistress, and he did not touch the rest of the cooks, although his hands were very itchy. Finally, the boy calmed down. During these two years, you demanded money from my mother while giving us food made from low-quality ingredients. Did you really think that I wouldn't find out? He turned to the rest of the cook. The men hung their heads with shame in their eyes and were silent. If this happens again, you won't get off easy, do you understand me? Our hero said, his eyes sparkling, and full of pride he left the kitchen. The cooks watched him for a long time. 
they couldn't believe that the same fourth young master who had knocked out Chu, who was at the third level of holy power, with just one blow. After leaving the kitchen, Chen walked along the paths of the mansion's garden. Now, he felt much better. It seems that teaching the wits of scoundrels is good for your health. Suddenly, the boy's ears heard someone's breathless breathing and easily recognized him as his older brother from Ed's third wife. He inherited red hair from his mother, but he was unlucky with his figure. Breakfast time had barely ended, and he, having completed a banal warm-up, was already out of breath. In his years, he trained with a wooden axe and performed a crushing blow, then an executioner's blow. And after them comes the fatal cut. Such agility cost him even more shortness of breath and loss of strength. The fat son of my father's third wife is here again? Does he really call this practice? Our hero winced at the sight of his brother. Er's disgusting appearance was annoying, and until he was discovered, Chen decided to quietly go a different route. However, during the next revolution, Er noticed a blue kimono flashing among the trees, and he was delighted at such a good chance to mock his relative. Brother, come here. I'll give you some candy, he suggested in two leaps, finding himself next to our hero. Candy? Do you think I'm seven years old? Chen snapped. Isn't that so? Er was perplexed. His words brought Jiang back to earth, because his current age in this world was exactly seven years old. While he was thinking about this, his older brother grabbed him by the scruff of the neck and pulled him to the training ground. Our hero always did not like the cockiness of Yu Shuang and her son. They bullied Chen and his mother all these years. Then why doesn't he take the chance and teach him a lesson? Okay, be gentle with me, third brother. Our hero agreed in a sweet voice. Or noticed his pretend acting, and from this strange look he felt somehow uneasy and even suggested that he was really planning something? But what should I be afraid of? Xiang is trash that can't cultivate, and I'm already at the third level of holy power. Er calmed himself and nodded to our hero, indicating that he should follow him. However, first, for the battle to be fair, it was necessary to choose any weapon for both opponents. But instead of taking himself a sword, katana, axe or gore, even a long blade, our hero broke off a dry twig. It's not worth it, I'll fight with this branch, he announced. A piece of dry wood? Is this brat completely retarded? It looks like he can't wait to go to the other world, Er rejoiced, imagining how he would beat his younger brother. And he warned that he would soon begin to attack, and without wasting time, he began to strike. And of course, the trilogy of techniques from the crushing blow, which he has been teaching for two weeks now. But our hero returned successfully. Then Er decided to take out his trump card, a deadly whirlwind. But Chen used his brother's trick against him, spinning him into a dizzying funnel. This is where the branch turned into a deadly weapon. Er realized this when the branch found itself right at his neck. Third brother, you lost, our hero summed up in a cheerful voice, while his opponent did not understand how it happened. This round doesn't count, you cheated. I just couldn't lose, Er said, waving away the branch. But Chen, putting on an innocent face, replied that he did not understand what he meant by cheating. His simultaneously stupid and innocent expression on his face angered Yu Shuang's son more than ever. One way or another, this round doesn't count. Let's start again, Er shouted, so that his vocal cords began to wheeze towards the end. No problem, let's start again, our hero agreed and moved to the starting position. He took me by surprise. I underestimated him too much. If I fight seriously, this brat won't even stand a chance, Er mentally encouraged himself. It never would have occurred to him before that his younger brother could defeat him so quickly. And in his defense, he suggested that perhaps it was all about the branch he was holding. Therefore, he asked Chen to give him the branch in order to examine it. This is an ordinary piece of wood. There is nothing special about it, his brother said, throwing up a branch. Well, you idiot, you fell for my trick. Let's see how you can defeat me now without this branch, Er gloated, throwing away a falling branch with an axe. Well, our hero will remember today for a long time because he was able to use holy power, taught an insolent servant a lesson, began to prove to his brother that he was not a cripple, but there was something else. Now, the same feeling that arose when he controlled the sword at a distance, without touching the weapon with his own hands, began to awaken in him. And now, obeying long-standing experience, he instructively stretched out his hands in front of him. Chen's aura began to dissipate around him, covering the surrounding world, but his opponent did not notice this due to inexperience. You lost. So, did you decide to close your eyes and accept your fate? Seeing how strangely his younger brother behaved, Er mocked him. Meanwhile, between the branch and our hero, 
a figuratively speaking invisible thread at the energy level began to appear, which connected the person and the weapon. I will become the next head of the Changguan family, Die Xian Tian, Er shouted, and with eyes blazing with hatred, attacked his younger brother. However, he should not have decided to commit fratricide. Jerking with his hands, Chen became convinced that he could control the branch from a distance. And when the enemy raised his axe over him, he took advantage of the moment, and the branch flew with a whistle like an arrow and hit the axe while cutting Eru's cheek, who fell to the ground from an unexpected blow, looking in surprise at the branch that landed next to his head. And a second later, he almost lost consciousness from a scratch from a branch on his face, as well as copious blood. How dare you hit me! I'll tell my mom everything! He shouted offendedly, bursting into tears. But his unhappy appearance did not make any impression on our hero. Frowning his eyebrows, he began to think out loud, saying that if Er called him a brat again, he would definitely kill him. Mom! Mommy! Save me! Er shouted heart-rendingly with fear and rushed as fast as he could to look for his parent, then silently looked after him. It looks like he went a little overboard this time, but it doesn't matter, because the worst thing they could do to him was punish him. The only thing that bothered him was that they should not drag his mother into this showdown. Er, of course, will tell everything that happened in his own way, and our hero was sure that there were no witnesses who spoke in his direction. However, this was not the case. His great uncle has been watching him all these years, and today's fight also did not escape his eyes. In the end, you were unable to hide your true strength. The winds of change have already come to this house, he thought, silently twirling the branch in his hands. The walls of the mansion shook with an appealing cry. Head, you must do something. If our son and I had failed, he would have been killed by Jian Tian. Forgetting about her swollen face from the side effects of skincare products, Shuang complained loudly and cried. Her servant did not lag behind her and proved that the fourth son of Mr. Changguan was uncontrollable because he hit him for no reason and demanded that he be punished. Xian Tian is not able to cultivate holy power. How could he do any harm? Ba gave arguments, but Yu Shuang did not hear his question continuing to complain. Like, the fourth wife always spoiled Shen Tian, and most likely it was she who ordered him to use something that harmed Er. And Er, by the way, is the future head of the family, and therefore Mr. Changguan must restore justice. The last words touched Ba to the quick. After all, the Changyuan family was known for its kindness and generosity, and if Xiang Tian really is the one who committed a bad deed, then he will definitely be severely punished and he gave the order that his fourth son should be summoned immediately. While the boy was being searched throughout the estate, Yu rejoiced in her heart. This time, the hated fourth wife and her son definitely had to be escorted out of the house. I will make sure that Xiang Tian definitely explains himself to you. Ba promised, while Yu Shuang responded by crying louder than before, but then someone tugged at Mr. Changguan's sleeve. Turning around, he saw his fourth wife. Xiang Tian has nothing to do with what happened today. It's all my fault. He heard from her. So you were the one who harmed Iru and the devotee? The man asked. In response, he heard that Yun was worried that her son would be bullied due to his inability to cultivate. So she secretly followed him to prevent this. And today she saw how Wu Yu and Er mocked Xiang. She got angry and decided to teach them a lesson. Having heard the accusation, all three began to deny the accusations. It is obvious that the fourth sister is trying to take the entire blow on herself in order to protect him. You said, but everyone knows that my son is not capable of cultivating. How then could he harm your servant and Eru? Yun responded to her accusation. You had nothing to say against such an argument, but our hero's mother did not listen to her. Turning to her stunned husband, she knelt in front of him and again took Chen's guilt upon herself, assuring that only she needed to be punished. Well, since you confessed everything, then your punishment will be meditative seclusion for a month. Ba pronounced the verdict. In absolute humility, Yun accepted this retribution for her son's behavior. However, this outcome of the case was not to the liking of the third wife. She again, as always, began to make a mountain out of a mountain, saying that Er almost died, and his head was simply splitting from pain, and they just couldn't let Yun go. The fate of the Chang Yuan family is at stake. Why not just send this nasty woman away? She screamed in her hearts. Often in such skirmishes, Yun was silent but now her patience began to come to an end. Having prepared her magical healing power, she asked if she cures her. Will she be forgiven? Well, no. What if you pretend to heal him but actually hurt him? Yu suggested, and hugged her son and covered him with her body. 
What are you talking about? It's obvious you're just trying to get rid of us. Yoon got angry. Nonsense! We are the wounded and victims here. I barely have time to swallow saliva, Yui disputed her words. After some time, heavy artillery was used. Yoon called Er a fat pig who should be given away for chops, and Yu compared our hero to a skinny goat. During their squabble, even Mr. Changwan himself was afraid to get passionate, because he felt that he simply would not be heard, and under the insult of a painted habalka, an insidious scum, he left his wives completely unnoticed. Meanwhile, far from the quarrel, at the calm of the spring flowing past the garden, there was peace and whim. Sometimes, through the prism of silence, the croaking of frogs and the chirping of grasshoppers could be heard. Looking at all this splendor, our hero tried to somehow pass the time, while thinking. The fight with the servant of the third wife and her son took place a long time ago, so why hasn't anyone come for him yet? Did they really not complain to anyone about this? However, he did not know where his mother had disappeared to. It is quite possible that this is somehow connected, but he was already tired of waiting for someone to appear and began to fall into a doze. But then the boy instinctively sensed danger from behind. The body intuitively jumped to the side, and, turning to face the enemy, Chen thanked himself for his amazing reflexes, because the sword landed exactly in the place where he was sitting. Following the weapon, a huge man dressed in dark clothes and a frightening mask appeared from the bushes. How dare you hurt the third young master? Now you're dead, he shouted. Did Bai Yu Shuang send you? asked the boy. That's right, she put up with you for too long, the mercenary confirmed. It's worth saying that our hero only had a branch as a weapon, which a couple of minutes ago he was drawing pictures in the sand, and then the man was two steps away from him and swung it. But Chen waited for the right moment, and when the sword began to touch his clothes, he jumped to the side. Then the mercenary decided to use the incinerating technique. Well, then the boy managed to dodge, and several birds and nearby fluttering moths that flared up like matches became victims of a small explosion. He's only at the fourth level of holy power, I can handle it. Our hero mentally encouraged himself. Having concentrated, he began to control his weapon from a wooden twig. Do you think some branch can hurt me? The mercenary laughed. Who said that a branch is not capable of wounding? Chen answered, his eyes sparkling and controlling the weapon like a puppet. While he was dangling with his opponent, he did not even have time to grasp where this branch was located. She was right above him and was aimed right at his head. Fear lurked in the mercenary's eyes, as if lightning flashed in front of his face. This branch cut his mask in half, and then the real face of the mercenary was revealed to the world. Father? Our hero was horrified by this turn of events. Instead of cruelty and hatred in Mr. Changguan's eyes, he saw tears of joy. Son, can you still use your holy power? He asked every now and then. First, Chen waited for his father to calm down and come to his senses. After which, he confirmed that he could really master the holy power, and admitted that it was in fact he who wounded the third brother and his mother's faithful servant, and asked that he, and not Yun, bear the punishment. Such words melted the father's heart. Son, why didn't you tell me about this? If only I knew, you and your mother would live better. Ba justified himself, and coming closer, patted our hero on the shoulder. But Zhang withdrew his hand with indifference in his eyes. Why did I have to tell? At first, everyone cherished me, thinking that I was a genius. All kinds of resources were directed towards me, as was your love. But as soon as you found out that I was a cripple, unable to use holy power, you immediately abandoned my mother and me to our fate. Our hero reasoned out loud, and coming closer to his father, he asked the question that had interested him for the past three years. Who is he as a son for him, or as a tool to achieve his goals? It's not easy for me now. First of all, I must take care of the future of the family. Ba answered, trying not to make excuses. What about our problems? Do you even know what we've been through these last few years while your third wife abused us? Have you ever tried to stop her? Or are we not family for you? Chen continued to insist otherwise. He himself understood perfectly well that he was more than 30 years old in total with his past life. But he was offended that if he had died, his father would not have even blinked an eye. Son, how can you say such things? I would never be so heartless towards you or your mother. I try not to show tears in my eyes, Ba assured. To be honest, I don't care about everything that happened to me personally, but I can't forgive you for what my mother experienced, Chen continued accusing. But the father suggested that this was probably all a small misunderstanding, saying that although he is the head of the family, 
He does not have the right to protect all its members. This nonsense began to tire of our hero. He didn't care how he would be punished for what he had done. In any case, family ties besides his mother meant nothing to him anymore. The stunned father looked sadly after his leaving son. Sir, you just need to admit your mistake and apologize. It is not so difficult. I raised the branch that served as a weapon for Chen, Uncle D advised. Uncle? Have you seen everything? Turning around his tear-stained face, Ba didn't believe it, and he quickly began to calm down Xiao. True, he didn't succeed right away. Surprisingly, the fourth son not only injured the third son with an ordinary branch, but also almost reached you. The young master is very gifted, Uncle D thought out loud. But Mr. Changguan admitted that he deliberately lowered his level of holy power to the fourth so that our hero could fight back. However, he was interested in something completely different, because the test showed that Chen was not capable of cultivating holy power. So what happened? That day, I also felt that something was wrong. Even before the test, it was obvious that the young master was unique, and I myself was wondering why the stone showed that he was not capable of cultivation. Not believing the result, I watched the gentleman. For the past three years, he had been secretly going to the library, reading books and cultivating. Then, I found out everything, said the uncle. Do you want to say that you knew everything and didn't tell me anything? Ba was indignant. While I was watching Xiang, I was also watching you. Dei explained absolutely calmly. Mr. Changguan did not expect this, but according to the old man, he had been blind for too long, and therefore Uncle Dei was going to take Xiang Tian to a place where he could be raised properly. Our Cheng Yuan family has always treated you well. How can you do this? Ba objected. I am just a guest of this family. Since you cannot look after your own son, how can you blame a stranger for this? The old man shared his grain of wisdom. His words brought Mr. Changguan to his senses, and he admitted that it was his fault, since he failed to fulfill his duty as a father, and because of this his son hates him. It's not too late to fix everything. Xiang has a fair character if you are honest with him. He will open his heart to you. Uncle D advised again. His words acted like a bomb on the man's soul and gave him a couple of good ideas. Meanwhile, the residence of the Changguan mansion is gradually becoming quieter. The third and fourth wives, without looking at each other, awaited the return of their husband. He left to deal with your brat. This time you will definitely end. You gloated. Too much mixture for a pig. I can take him to my mother's house at any time, where you are powerless. And anyway, how did you have the courage to appear in public with such a face? You impressed the patient in response. Don't worry, everything will return to normal in a couple of days. Better take care of yourself, you screamed. While they again began to exchange barbs among themselves, Mr. Cheng Guan came into the room, accompanied by our hero. He announced that Xiang Tian was indeed the one who injured his elder brother and the servant. Hearing this, you began to ask more than ever that the boy be severely punished for such behavior. But you had a different opinion on this matter. Apologize, Ba ordered, pushing the boy towards his third wife. Sorry, aunt. Our hero apologized, picking his nose with his finger. This can't even be called an admission of guilt, you squealed. Shun Tian should not have done this. But Er and Chu should not bully others either. So I consider the issue resolved. The matter is closed. The head of the family ordered. Yun did not believe in such a happy ending, but Yun was in no hurry to give up so easily. Will you just forget about it? Mister, our son is the future of the family. Running up to her husband, she began hitting his chest as hard as she could with her fists, demanding what she wanted. Be silent. Making life difficult for my fourth wife and her son is already a big violation of family rules, so I have already expelled Chu from the house, and from now on, if anyone dares to disrespect Yun Tian or her son, they will be severely punished. Mr. Changguan spoke about the new order. The girls were very shocked by the emperor's words. Well, is everything fair now? The father turned to his son and asked. Our hero nodded with satisfaction. And running up to my mother, I worried about her well-being. But the woman still couldn't believe that her son went unpunished. We just talked with my father man to man. Chen assumed importance. Children these days are always trying to talk like adults. Yun laughed to herself, running her hair through her son's hair. But then Mr. Changguan called out to her, asking her to heal Er's wounds and also heal his mother's face. No problem, just as long as everything remains intact. Yun set her conditions. 
Her words angered Yu Shuang's already incredibly capricious character even more. Enough! Ba ordered his fourth wife to calm down, and she had no choice but to remain silent in submission. Yun listened to the natural sounds of the surrounding world, forcing the blood in her body to run faster through her veins, and, forgetting about everything, created a core of healing energy. A special energy flows in Mother's hands, the heavens of the earth. Is this what is called the power of the shining saints? Our hero tried to find a guess, watching as Yun laid her hands on Yu's head. A moment later, she enjoyed her delightful appearance in the reflection of the mirror, as did her son in the absence of scars. Mr. Changguan and his son, looking at the fourth wife, admired her skills. If I understand how to use this healing energy, then the effectiveness of my training will double, our hero suggested. But then his father's hand fell on his shoulder. Although he said that the case is closed, the culprit is still not punished and must pay retribution. But this is dishonest. This is not at all what we agreed on. Our hero didn't understand. So he should still be punished? Yun became worried, and only Yu Shuang and her son clapped their hands with delight. Xiang Tian practiced secretly and did it wrong, so starting tomorrow his punishment will be following Uncle D to the secret practice room. There he will remain until he reaches the eighth level of holy power. Mr. Changguan ordered. Can you punish me like that? Or immediately began to beg. Well, Grandpa D as a guide isn't that bad, Chen thought. But then his father handed him a letter and ordered him to open it when he moves to the eighth level. And with a conspiratorial wink, he said that his future should then change radically. The boy stared in surprise at the piece of paper, then took it and hid it in his bosom. So seven years passed in crazy training. One sunny day, his father and great uncle, enjoying the open view from the second floor of the estate and drinking sake, discussed his future. How are my son's training going? Has he already been able to break through to the eighth level of holy power? Mr. Changguan asked. According to the old man's story, over the past few years Xiang has progressed much more slowly than before. At the moment, he was at the seventh level of it. You can easily call him a genius for his 14 years. But there was one thing. The old man seemed as if our hero did not want to give all his best in cultivation. And by what evidence did you understand this? Ba continued to ask. Not really. I just have the feeling that your son, if desired, can come to the eighth level of holy power at any moment. Pouring a new glass of alcoholic drink, Uncle D shared his observations. Mr. Changguan sighed. If Xiang Tian does not advance to the eighth level by the end of this year, then they will have to wait for him to enter the academy for another year. Meanwhile, the mother of our hero all the time did nothing but give kindness to everyone and rejoice at such a good attitude towards herself. Lying in the shade of an umbrella and enjoying the views with a rejuvenating cucumber mask on her face, Yun enjoyed her position. Plus, she had just received seasonal fruits and snacks. What could be better? Having eaten some of the offerings, the woman ordered that they be covered with a plate on top, so that Xian Tan could also taste them a little later. When the servants left for Yun, she began to enjoy the silence and solitude again. Despite the fact that they began to be treated better, she still did not forgive the offense. Meanwhile, in his bedroom, our hero entered a state of meditation, improving his spirit and his body. At the age of 14, already as a teenager, he had an attractive appearance, long black hair to the waist, an athletic body, and an attractive face that no woman could resist in the future. But the young male representative was not interested in such things. Every day he relived his past again and again in memories. Looking from the outside, he again and again found his mistakes, which he could not have made in the past. Many times a countless army marched towards him, confident that against such a number Jiang Chen would definitely lay down his arms. But each time the perfect master of the sword did not leave a single warrior alive. However, he never touched the weak and always protected the common people. Because from infancy, he himself was an orphan and lived on the street. Now in this new world he has everything, and he simply has no right not to take advantage of such opportunities. At some point, our hero was so carried away by his thoughts that he quietly fell asleep. The dream was not a pleasant one. In it, he remembered how, due to his weakness at the beginning of his journey, he could not protect his named brothers. From what he had experienced, his heart was filled with pain and despair, and in a fit of passion he woke up. Seeing the embroidery embroidered by his mother's hand on the wall, Chen calmed down. It was just a dream. You have relaxed too much over the past few years. I know that you never felt a sense of home in your past life, and now it's hard for you to let them go. Our hero taught himself a lesson while looking at his reflection in the sort. 
He also blamed himself for the fact that during all this time he did not try to become stronger, and instead simply began to get used to the idle life in his father's estate Changguan. But he is not Changyuan Xiangtian, he is Zhang Chen. And the people from his sect from his past life are still waiting for his return. And he should continue to get stronger and find a way back. This is exactly what he should never forget. Sword swing, somersault, silent landing. It was Chen who did a little warm-up for himself. When the aura laughed, he engraved the phrase on the wall with a sword. Always remember who you are and where you come from, she said. Such a violent outburst of emotions that the teenager could not control led to him breaking through to the eighth level of holy power. Although he planned to wait a little longer, there was nothing to do and our hero went to his mentors with this news. Son, have you really moved to the eighth level? Mr. Changwan was delighted, almost choking on sake. There was also joy in Uncle D's eyes. For the first time in his life, there was such a gifted boy. Having demonstrated his skills, Chen asked if he could now finally open the letter, because he wanted to know how it connected with his future. But imagine his surprise when the letter contained an enrollment form filled out by someone with his biography. Now he was accepted into the most famous academy in the Desun Kingdom, the Kargat Academy, which trained countless of the strongest and only those who have reached the 8th level of holy power before the age of 18 will be able to visit it. And our hero was one of them. Xiang Tian, you are very talented, and are the ideal choice for admission to Kargat Academy. The future of the Cheng Yuan family rests on your shoulders. His father patted the boy on the back. Okay, I won't let you down, the teenager promised. The entrance ceremony at Kargath Academy was supposed to start in three days, and he would definitely make it on time. As a gift for such a significant day, Ba gave his son a space belt, which he had specially prepared for him. If Chen can break through to the 10th level of holy power by the age of 18 and become a saint, then he will then give him a spatial ring. But his tirade was interrupted by Yun. Since our hero was leaving home for the first time and would have to take care of himself, since she wouldn't be around, she prepared him a lot of tasty and healthy things for the trip and also wrote down each of his meals for a month in advance, and finally, with a tight hug, asked him to eat well and don't shirk your studies. Looking over the woman's shoulder, Chen's eyes widened at the pile of supplies. Mom, I'm no longer a child and I can take care of myself. He groaned. When Yu Shuang and his son found out that you would study at Kargat Academy, they got so angry that they got sick. Keep it up, son. Yun continued to rejoice. Mom? Are you gloating again? Our hero frowned, but Grandfather D interrupted the conversation, reminding us that there was little time left and we needed to go. Having tightly hugged his parents for the last time, Chen and his great uncle climbed up a huge mountain eagle, which served as their object of transportation, since there was no other high-speed transport. Don't forget to write us letters, Yun shouted instructions to the last, until the travelers turned into a black dot in the sky. Kargath Academy, wait for me! Jiang shouted with strength towards adventure. A lot of time has passed since our hero last experienced the feeling of flight in a past life. He missed him, and now rushed among the clouds with admiration. You really have something to do with something. When your brother was flying to the academy, he was so scared that he absolutely couldn't move. Grandfather commented, watching the boy's reaction. Do I have a brother at Kargat Academy? How is it that I don't know anything about this? Chen immediately demanded an explanation. The old man sighed. With age, his memory deteriorated and he kept forgetting to talk about it. It turned out that Mr. Changguan's first wife gave birth to his first son, Hu, but after the Mr. married his third wife, they both could not get along. The first wife was so angry that she decided to take her newborn son back to her mother's house and then severed all ties with the Changyuan family. Now, everything has fallen into place. It's no wonder why Chen has never heard of Big Brother. He realized that Yu wanted to oust him and his mother in a similar way, and vowed to teach her a lesson one more time. Only his face seemed extremely suspicious to Grandfather Didi. Although he reassured himself that our hero was still just a child, he recommended out loud that in the future he should not hesitate to ask his older brother for help. Thank you very much. Chen took note of his words. After some time in flight, the eagle circled over a small village with amazing architecture. Our hero looked at the view with all his eyes barely taking a breath from the beauty. And then, in front of the crowd, the eagle landed in the middle of the square. Wow, there are so many people in this academy. How can I find my brother then? Looking around, our hero wondered. 
Don't worry, Hu is very easy to find, Grandfather D assured him, and he turned out to be right. As soon as the eagle folded its wings, it was heard throughout the entire courtyard. Chang Guan Xiang Tian, your elder brother is here. Welcome to Kargath Academy. And Hu immediately ran up to him with open arms. He was a tall and stately guy, and his face was noble. It's really easy to find. I'll pretend I don't know him. Our hero thought, hiding his eyes on the floor from embarrassment. Meanwhile, Grandpa D and the elder brother hugged each other tightly. The head of the family misses you. The old man conveyed the words of his nephew. Please don't mention him. I have nothing to do with this old snob. Who interrupted him, making his voice metallic. And looking at our hero, I was surprised at how quickly he grew, turning from a baby into a young man. His words greatly pleased the teenager's vanity. If anyone dares to mock you, then come to me right away. I will make them collect their teeth throughout the academy. Don't worry, Uncle D. I'll take care of everything and give Xian Tian the best tour of the academy. Putting his arm around the boy's shoulders and leading him aside, he promised her. His help was just in time since Grandfather D needed to talk with the director about a new student, and the older brother looks very reliable. Looking with all his eyes at his relative, our hero admired him. For the next ten minutes they ran like wild beasts throughout the entire territory of the academy. This is this, and this is all Kargat Academy. This is all you need to know. Smiling with all thirty-two teeth explained, Who? Brother I, of course, trust you. But this excursion is too short to call it. I want to know more information. It affected now. He took his words back. The older brother actually turned out to be very reliable. After all, it turned out that tomorrow was the day of the freshman competition. And who wrote him down, arguing that he should communicate with others in order to quickly get used to the new environment. You probably meant I will be beaten. Paraphrase the above words, our hero you, that this is a battle between new students. I am very excited. You must show yourself well, and this is your pass. The brother waved his head from side to side and pulled out a star from his pocket and hung it on the boy's chest. The older brother is too energetic. I'm not at all interested in these competitions. So it's better to just give up. I made my decision in advance. But then Hu slapped himself on the forehead because he completely forgot about the materials for the application, shouting for everyone to go. He had lunch in the cafeteria, he disappeared among the buildings of the academy in search of the necessary materials. He really just left me in the middle of the square. Our hero didn't believe what he saw. Despite the fact that the excursion was quite short, he quickly found round tables everywhere in the dining room, and the design of the refectory hall would be the envy of a representative of the royal family himself. V. Su decided not to embarrass anyone with his presence, and therefore sat down at a table that was not yet occupied by anyone. Having tasted the dishes, he concluded that the food there was cheap. However, it was very tasty. Even poor students could eat properly. This academy, even in food, demonstrated equality between the poor and the rich. But then someone's hand knocked on the table in front of the boy, and Xiang almost choked in surprise. This table is ours. Go eat somewhere else punished someone's voice from above, raising his eyes, all saw two guys and a girl. All three had an unquestioning posture with gentle hands and white faces. Hey, I'm talking to you. You didn't understand me again. The guy turned to the boy brunette. If you want to eat so badly, sit down and eat with me. This table belongs to the academy. It doesn't say that it's yours, not paying attention to the threats. He calmly explained himself. But the brunette objected saying that no one deserves to eat with them second brother. Why are you so polite to this brat? Just send him away, the light blonde girl said, rolling her eyes. I'll leave myself, but only after I've finished eating. If you don't want to sit with me, then just stand and wait, chewing your food, our hero advised. The brunette and the light blonde girl took their breath away from such impudence. They could not find words to express their indignation. And the third participant of the company decided to negotiate instead, Looking at the quality of your uniform, we can conclude that you are also of noble origin. Can I find out your name and what family you are from? He asked as he came forward. After which, without waiting for an answer, he sat down at the table opposite our hero. Although the academy prohibits oppressing commoners, it does not interfere in disputes between nobles. Will you believe me if I tell you that I will make your life at the academy unbearable? Leaning my chin with my hands in a quiet voice asked the guy, the incident gradually began to attract the rest of the students in the cafeteria, bragging about my family and talking impudently. This happened more than once in my past life, watching the angry faces of the Trinity and twisting noodles on a stick. 
Now his indifference began to infuriate the guy with the scar, because our hero didn't even answer him who he is. Unable to withstand such tension, the brunette grabbed the tablecloth with both hands, tore it off the table, and several plates of food crashed noisily. After which he ran up to him and swung his hand and tried to hit him. But the teenager successfully dodged, and being behind the enemy's back, he hit him on the vertebra, thereby immobilizing him for several seconds. And out of control of his body, the brunette fell to the floor. You are too impulsive and again unstable. And your kung fu is not developed, commented on the failed one. And so our hero continues to have lunch. Do you dare to mock me? I'll kill you. The blonde guy promised to get even. Yes, calm down, was already heard from the next table with a pile of dirty plates. The guy sitting behind him stood up. I dedicated to everyone that I had already finished eating, so anyone can take his place. Go away, it's none of your business, but I stuck the brunette on him. Well, the guy, smiling shyly, reminded everyone that they were all Odnoklesniki, and therefore there was no need to create conflicts in height. The small one was under two meter and quite well fed. I said, get out of here, didn't you understand, you pig? Who gave you the right to talk to me like that? The brunette shouted more angry than before, attacking the guy with his fists. But he didn't even think about defending himself. If you want to hit someone, then hit me. I have thick skin, so I don't give a damn, slapping his stomach, he asked. Oh, oh, the pig is asking to be beaten by the second brother. We should teach him a lesson. Observing the conflict from the side, the red-haired girl ordered. He could no longer tolerate such behavior and our hero. All three of them could fight with him as much as they wanted. But they should not have drawn strangers into this. No matter how strange it may be, the first brother from the Dai clan supported him, since conflicts between the nobles and the poor are strictly prohibited by the academy, and he reminded the second brother about this. Meanwhile, the shouting between the participants in the conflict became more and more, and the students who were having lunch hurried to leave the dining room. Our hero decided to retreat with them. Hey! Thinking that you can insult our clan, do you want to be expelled from the academy? The guy with the scar asked him in the back. Since Chen in this life came from a noble family, the Kargat will not interfere in the squabbles of noble families, and therefore no one will stop him from showing strength towards others. Be that as it may, I would like to see how you are trying to break my bones and beat me. Clenching sticks in your fist, answered with what? Well, here, as always, Brother Shu appeared epically out of nowhere. I would also like to see how someone dared to attack my brother, he shouted while jumping. And he landed right on the dining table where Chen had just recently been dining, punching his foot through the tabletop. Seeing how quickly the table breaks just by standing on it, the brunette's jaw dropped, and Chen whined in his heart. Couldn't his brother appear normally? Like Di Yun, do you want to fight? Come on, I'll be happy to spar with you, the older brother shouted, waving a huge stack of papers in his hands. But he immediately came to his senses, remembering why he was gone, and handed over a stack of papers to our hero, so that he filled them out in order to register in the beginner's tournament. Do I need to sign this whole bunch of documents? Jiang asked, realizing the amount of work he had to do. Beginner's tournament? This kid is your fourth brother? Yun didn't believe the coincidence. And he's as talented as I am, who grabbed our hero by the shoulders and assured him with a smile. Watching this scene, Liang made a dissatisfied face and his sister could not believe that such upstarts as they dare to get involved with the Kadi clan. Provoking this mad dog of the eldest son of the Changyuan family is not a good idea. I cannot deal with him one-on-one. -on -one. We need to come up with something else, Yun thought, and turning sharply on his heels, he headed towards the exit. The other two did not expect such a reaction from him. Well, your older brother is cool, isn't he? Watching the opponents run away, Hu praised himself. It's unlikely that it will all end like this. Our hero shook his head at his forged ones. Are we really going to let them go so easily? Liang asked, barely keeping up with his older brother, jumping over the steps. Who said that we are leaving them out? His younger brother signed up for the rookie martial arts tournament. If you kill him there, Chang Yuan Hu will not be able to stop you. Yun explained his behavior with a sly smile. In life, he was guided by the following rule. Anyone who dares to insult the Kadi clan must pay a huge price for his insult, and often with his own life. Meanwhile, our hero, hugging a stack of documents, also headed towards the exit from the dining room. His older brother really turned out to be something. Who again said that he urgently needed to do something, and left, saying that he had forgotten about an important matter. For now, Chen can walk around the academy, or look for something in the store. But here's the thing. 
It was Zhang's first day at Cargot Academy, so he still didn't know his way around very well and didn't know where the store was. That's why the older brother was very unreliable. But not everything was so sad. Without giving his name, the big man from the next table offered him his friendship, and if you have any questions, always contact him. Although he probably says that they are friends, it's still too early. But remembering about the beginner's tournament, our hero is Donut. Competitions were not at all interesting to him. Maybe it's worth giving up, but the boy decided to think about it later. And for now, just take a walk around the campus. He wanted to take a good look at the kingdom's first academy. Having finished his rounds, our hero decided to take a walk in the park near the academy, and suddenly from behind the bushes, he heard two embarrassed children's voices. Coming closer without attracting attention, he saw two guys, a boy and a girl, about his age. In a past life, the brothers and sisters from his sect also hid to play with each other. Apparently, in any time and place, we all have seven senses and six desires, Chen thought, leaving the loving couple behind him. And then, a few meters away from him, a branch first crunched, and after it several men crept in from head to toe in black clothes. The boy seemed suspicious of the men, and he assumed that it was either jealousy or theft. And he, intrigued, followed them. Soon the men met with two more men and held a meeting, it turned out. Some girl must go along this route. Two men in black had to pretend to be ordinary hooligans who decided to pester her, and he had to come to her and save her. And once again he reminded that his goddess of the heart is like a little lamb and you need to be gentle with her. What kind of cliché is this? This is not at all original. Jealousy, as I expected. Our hero rolled his eyes while eavesdropping on the conversation. However, now he simply could not pass by pretending that he knew nothing and secretly joined the guys. Some time passed, the sun in the sky was replaced by a month and darkness fell on the earth. Finally, muffled approaching footsteps were heard. What a wonderful muse! The student who ordered the attack, looking out from behind the bushes, admired the girl passing by. He wasn't the only one whose heart was stolen by a new student at the academy, and then three men in black clothes fell on her way as if from the sky. Aren't you afraid to walk alone so late? Maybe you want to play with us? They suggested coming closer. What? No, don't come near me. I try to control myself out of fear, the girl asked. But the hooligans assured her that she had nothing to fear, for they themselves would take care of everything. Then, coming close, one of the trio pulled his lustful hands towards her. But who was he surprised when his hand was intercepted by someone's strong fingers? And turning her back to the man and twisting his arm, the girl threw him several meters away, so strong that a crater formed in the ground from its fall. What the hell? Didn't the boss say something about a little sheep? This is what they call pretending to be a pig to kill a tiger, right? The other two were surprised by what they saw. Meanwhile, the girl, having dealt with the first attacker, shook off the earth and dust from her hands. Although I don't like to fight, I won't spare the villains, she said, standing in a fighting stance, and desperate courage was visible on her beautiful sweet face, which was framed by white-haired curls. And this girl looks tender and weak, but at the same time, very strong. Our hero admired the female representative, not forgetting not to spare his fists against the person who ordered the attack. And then the other two hooligans turned towards their older brother, the customer, and shouted for him to help him. But instead of one man, they saw two. Who did you call your elder brother? Putting his hands on his hips, our hero demanded an explanation, while the customer himself successfully retreated from the scene of the incident. So you're the boss here? So I'll teach you a lesson too, the girl said, pouting her lips. Wait, there was a misunderstanding. Realizing how it got out of him, Chen waved his hands. But the girl, of course, did not listen to him. Meanwhile, the two hooligans were surprised by the sudden external transformation of their customer, but decided that the best option for them would be to first leave the scene of the incident. Our hero was unpleasant that his attempt to help any girl brought him trouble himself. Oh, oh well, I'm still bored. Let's see what this little girl can do. Zhang thought in response, putting his hands forward. The guys were just about to try their martial arts skills on each other, when a loud order was heard for them to stop. And immediately after this, our hero's body went numb, not allowing him to move. A moment later, a slender female figure appeared from behind the thicket of trees. The embroidery on her cloak indicated that she was a teacher from Kargath Academy. There are rules prohibiting the use of force for personal purposes. Have you already forgotten about it? she reminded. Master, forgive me, of course it's my fault, but he's a villain. And you said that they need to be punished. Pointing towards Chen, 
the girl began to make excuses, while our hero forcibly asserted that this was just a misunderstanding. I'll figure it out myself. You go back to practice, the teacher ordered. The girl, obeying her order, turned around and, passing by Jung, made a malicious face at him. And as if nothing had happened, she passed by. Auntie, let's just talk. Everything is completely different from what your student said. Just let me explain. Our hero prayed to himself. The woman came closer to him, looking into his very eyes, after which she noticed out loud that his inner strength inside him was different from usual. Sweat appeared on the boy's back. Did she really understand that he was reborn? Don't worry, I never poke my nose into other people's secrets, even if it's about you, a boy from the Chang Yuan family. The teacher assured him. Our hero no longer knew what to think. Does she really know him? Only the woman's next words were quite strange. She said that in order to earn her leniency, Chen must first prove that he deserves to live in this world. As soon as the last word came out of her mouth, energy threads began to appear from her index finger and, like shackles, began to envelop the boy from head to toe. If you do not complete the task, I will kill you with my own hands, she said without a shadow of pity in her eyes. Is she crazy? Auntie, don't take it upon yourself. Not understanding what was happening, our hero prayed to himself. Finally, the teacher asked me to remember the words she said, and she spread her hands. The world around our hero began to lose colors and outlines of objects. Soon the resulting vortex began to engulf the boy. The last thing he saw was the face of a woman standing next to him. This time, consider it a gift from me, she finally said. And a second later, she in the darkness of the night disappeared, and the teenager looked around in bewilderment. While he did not understand where he was, who called out to him, and he asked what he was doing in this place, although he himself looked unwell. His clothes were torn, dirty, and covered in blood, and his hands and face were covered in abrasions and bruises. What happened? Why are you injured? Our hero barely has time to grab his older brother's arm. Our hero became worried. It turned out that Hu wanted to go over the mountain and kill a magical beast in order to finish off the first level magic core for Chen, but he accidentally disturbed the beast from the third rank and received several blows from him and admitted that he already thought that he would not get out of there and did not expect that his younger brother will come to his aid. He guessed he didn't have long to live, so he pulled out the magic core and handed it to Jiang, since he would soon be participating in the rookie tournament. It was supposed to help him become stronger. So you actually left during the day to get this core? Our hero asked, tightly clutching the gift in his fist and feeling conscience about the thoughts of a few hours earlier. We are brothers. I'm sorry that this is the only way I can help. Who answered him? And trying not to attract attention with his unhealthy gait, he wandered into the thicket of the forest, leaving his younger brother to ponder the value of the tournament in his life. But then Hu, for no apparent reason, sat down on the ground, after which he folded his arms over his chest and lay down on his back. Not understanding anything, Zhang asked, what was happening? Hu opened his eyes, full of brotherly love and tenderness. That's all I can do for you. Please take my ashes to this and that place, he finally asked. Our hero laughed out loud. During these few minutes, having examined Hu's body with his eyes, he came to the conclusion that his wounds were only superficial, so he would not die. What? Is it true? And I already thought that I was finished, Hu rejoiced, shuddering in hysterical laughter. But Chen was quick to annoy him with the fact that if he had not arrived in time, his brother would have died from loss of blood. After a couple of minutes, the boy applied several tight tourniquets to him. He stopped the bleeding for a while. If Hu rushed to the academic medical center, he would be cured, and everything would be fine. But they didn't know that the same teacher at Kargat Academy was secretly watching Chang Guan Hu's rescue. It's good that it all ended like this. But there is still a long way to go, the boy from the Cheng Yuan family, she said thoughtfully, looking after the retreating brothers. The night passed, the morning came, the rookie tournament was about to begin. Students and teachers flocked to the main square of the academy. They were all wondering who would be this year's rookie king, and they were in a hurry to get to the stadium as quickly as possible, otherwise all the good seats would be taken. And our hero was among the first. As he expected, from such a majestic academy as Kargat, even a beginner's tournament can create a lot of noise. But he did not expect that even the aroma of celebration would be in the air, and also the care and guardianship of an older brother. Changguan Xiangtian, become the best. Go ahead, fourth brother. I will support you win the tournament, someone shouted throughout the stadium. Somehow, miraculously, during the night he managed to sew a huge red velvet flag with the name of our hero embroidered on it. And now, 
proudly demonstrating it. He held the flag in the wind in the middle of the crowd. With such a caring brother, I often have to worry about awkward moments, Chen thought, hiding his eyes in shame and pointing his finger at the audience. And now that very exciting hour has come. At first everything became quiet, and soon steps were heard. Bai An, Vice Principal of Cargot Academy, came out into the middle of the stadium waving his fan. It is he who will conduct the beginner's tournament today. The prizes for the winners remained the same as before. First place will receive a level 3 monster core, second place will receive a level 2 monster core, and third place will receive a level 1 monster core, and the 50 best will receive one amethyst coin. As soon as he announced the prizes, a wave of excitement went through the crowd of students, because one amethyst coin is enough to cover the living expenses of an average family for 10 years in advance, which was already a huge success. But not for the representatives of the Kadi clan. They found it funny at the thought that the poor who had not seen the world rejoiced at one amethyst coin, because they were given 10 of them every day for pocket money. Meanwhile, the vice director explained the rules. The knockout tournament will begin based on a group draw. Just two rules. No weapons, and no killing. Mr. Bai sincerely hoped that everyone would behave well. Waving his fan and smiling broadly, he announced the start of the competition. The students shouted along with him and the podium shook from so many voices. Meanwhile, Liang and Chu noticed our hero in the crowd and promised that if they were destined to meet at the tournament, they would definitely break his neck. Yes, yes, in the battle of languages you definitely have no equal. Chen agreed with an indifferent face. Freak, just catch me in the ring! You won't leave a wet spot, the brunette instantly shouted, but the object of his ridicule paid no attention to him. Even during the first round, the fans chose four winners, our hero, his fat friend and a brunette with his light blonde sister from the Kadi clan. After all, they were the ones who emerged victorious from the battles. Each of them behaved differently during the competition. For example, Tita smiled sweetly at the end, and Liang finished off his victim to the last. And so the quarterfinals began and Chen and Chu had to fight in the first round. The girl believed that our hero had great luck, and was simply lucky to reach the quarterfinals. Little sister, kill him, was heard from the upper stands. Forward, fourth brother. Who supported our hero, waving a flag? The spectators sat down more closely, and looked at the podium with all their eyes, because up to this point the tournament had been very boring. Q decided to attack first, but her blow went through the air because the boy, without making much effort, successfully dodged to the side. Well, let's see how long you can dodge, the girl screamed, tearing herself apart. Everything was inconsolable. How does he dodge all my attacks so easily? Chu was angry. After a while, the battle became monotonous with predictable lunges, somersaults and blows. Chen finally had enough. Bending slightly, he waited for Chu to extend his hand and, intercepting it, spun her in place turning the girl to face him, thereby disarming her. I don't want to hit the girl, so just admit defeat, our hero said looking into her eyes, but Chu could not believe that he was stronger than her. She simply had no right to lose to some trash, otherwise she would become a laughing stock. And in order to win, she was even ready to act on the sly. Jumping high, she raised her leg, supposedly trying to hit the enemy on the head with her foot, but Zhang managed to put his hand in, and the blow hit her. Only there was a mechanism in Chu's shoe. Pressing it with my fingers, a needle jumped out of the sole. The blow was accurate, and now she was rushing at the speed of light towards our hero. And worst of all, right in his eye. I won! Chu began to rejoice at her happiness. But in such a short time, our hero managed to concentrate and use the azulette sword technique, thereby forcing the needle to change direction in the air. And instead of flying into it, it hit the girl right in the forehead. And she rolls her eyes like a rag doll fell into the square. The stands were silent for several seconds. And then they began to shout with renewed vigor, asking each other, What happened? Why Kadikyu? Suddenly fell and is it true that something flew out of her shoe? The vice president of the academy also hurried to the guys, but fortunately it was just an ordinary poisoned needle, so no one was hurt. Mr. Bai ruled that the girl was disqualified as a result of a violation of the rules. Approaching our hero and grabbing him by the shoulders, he publicly announced that the winner is Changwan Xiantian, and if Hu was incredibly happy about his brother's victory then the representatives of the Ka Di clan did not share his joy with him. On the contrary, they sat gritting their teeth with anger. Xian Tian, you are good, Bai An said thoughtfully, stroking his chin with his hand. Is this a compliment? I get the feeling that he's up to something, Jiang thought, not understanding how to evaluate the praise. But he soon forgot about it, because he had to fight several more times. 
and while the audience was rooting for his victory, Yun hatched an insidious plan. Since Liang was also a freshman and took part in the tournament, one way or another he will have to fight with the hated Shang Tian. And for this, Yun obtained a forbidden drug that will strengthen Liang's powers for a while. Of course, the second brother was indignant. Does the elder really not believe in his strength? However, Yun could not rely only on chance, because the third sister Chu had greatly disgraced their family by losing in battle. Therefore, Liang had to win and restore their reputation. Okay, I'll do it, Liang agreed, emptying the bottle. Meanwhile, our hero was enjoying the attention of the public after another victory. You are amazing, Tai praised him, patting him on the shoulder. And having bumped his fists, Chen wished his friend good luck in the battle with the enemy Kadi Liang. Returning to the podium and passing the brunette, our hero turned around. He noticed that something was clearly wrong with the young man and decided not to take his eyes off him. I am very strong and I am not going to hold back. Be ready, Tai warned, smiling from ear to ear and preparing his fists. Stop talking nonsense, you are no match for me, Liang snapped. The ringing of a bell echoed through the stadium. It was the vice president who announced the start of the match. Taking a deep breath, the two guys rushed at each other. Two opposing forces collided in one blow. But over time, Tie began to retreat under the onslaught of the enemy. After which, Liang rushed forward and hit him in the stomach with his fist, and he was already preparing to strike again with even greater force. But then Bayan intervened, grabbing Liang by the hands, thereby ending the fight between the guys. How are you? Running up to the beaten friend, our hero inquired about his well-being. Sorry Shang Tian I lost, Tai apologized, spitting blood. But Chen calmed him down, assuring him that he would definitely avenge him. Are you ready for death? Turning to the brunette, he asked in a metallic voice. Chang Guang Xiang Tian, I'll bury you right here, living. Liang growled in response. If it weren't for the vice president's strong hands holding him, he would have immediately rushed at the boy. But our hero asked Bai An if it was possible to start the final match right now. Before the vice director had time to answer, who from the podium, along with the dissatisfied crowd, began to be indignant, saying that Ka Di Liang used drugs and they are covering him up although for this, he should be expelled from Kargat Academy. But Bayan skillfully pretended not to notice him. If you are both ready to continue, then the final match will begin right now, he ordered, fanning himself. Then Hu seemed to break free from chains. He shouted to the entire stadium that the shameless vice director was covering for Kadi's family in broad daylight, although they had broken the rules and should be expelled, and demanded that the director be brought here. When Bayan finally came to the end of his patience, with the help of his spiritual power, he carried Hu out of the stadium with a gust of wind, since he was causing too much noise. And yet the vice director was extremely surprised by the courage and self-confidence of our hero. He knew that Ka Di Liang had taken the drug, but was Xiang Tian really so confident in his abilities that he still decided to take the fight? And turning sharply on his heels, he left the battlefield. Bastard, in order to defeat you I had to humiliate myself and take drugs to become so strong, thought Liang. And counting to three, he hit his hand on the concrete slabs, so that the pain would increase the adrenaline in his blood. However, our hero was not worried about his fearless appearance. Even when Liang took the pose of an angry awakened grizzly, showing everyone his power. And even when he hit the ground with his hands again, forming a small crater. And even when he looked at his opponent, he realized that he was at the 10th level of holy power. Well, do you really think you can defeat me? Liang asked in a hoarse voice. You'll find out soon. Chen answered briefly, waving his hands around from the dust. His equanimity infuriated his already embittered rival even more than before. Let's see if you can smile the same way after I knock all the life juice out of you. He growled and began to approach our hero with unprecedented speed, but the boy jumped to the side, after which he took a step forward and put his hand under the opponent's elbow and threw his head into his face. And with the final cord, he gave him a kick ass, which caused Liang to roll head over heels around the stadium and for the first seconds I didn't even feel my body from pain. This is the technique with which I will win, Jiang summed up peeling his hands. But Liang could not tolerate such a shame, dishonoring his family. Jumping he springs back from his hands and lunges with his foot, but Chen managed to neutralize this attack too. Moreover, now tightly gripping the enemy's leg he pulled it towards him, and throwing it over himself he threw it to the ground. The young man's legs parted and he did the splits to the amusement of the audience. How dare he make me look like a fool, Liang thought with tears of pain and anger in his eyes. What's going on? Am I really here for a clown show? It turns out he is a gymnast, but I didn't even know. The audience laughed. Only Yun was not amused. 
Second brother, what the hell are you doing? Be serious, I will ruin the honor of our family, he shouted, clutching the podium with his hands. And while our hero was basking in the rays of glory, Liang pressed a claim against him, saying that he really couldn't fight him without dirty tricks. Okay, then I will fight seriously. Chen promised, turning to him. Liang was about to grab his torso, but then in his eyes the silhouette of the enemy began to double. He did not immediately understand what was happening, and only after a few seconds did he realize that the boy around him was moving at stunning speed. And here he stands right in front of him, such a small and seemingly weak boy. Only the blow of his fist inflicted on his chest could not be called weak at all. But Liang did not take this fact into account, and continued to make fun of him. You have become faster, but not stronger. Do you think your punch will do anything to me? He laughed breathlessly. Who said it was a blow? Our hero sarcastically responded. And while Liang was pondering the meaning of his words, he was punched in the nose, then in the jaw. And then there was no unbruised spot left on his face. And with an instantly swollen face, losing consciousness for a moment to the applause of the fans, he fell to the ground. And our hero, proudly puffing out his chest, told his opponent that he was lucky that he could not use a sword in the tournament. But then Jiang slapped himself on the forehead, because he is actually a sword master. And now he is standing here and mocking the child. If anyone in his world finds out about this, it will be very awkward. Chang Yuan, Xian Tian wins and becomes this year's rookie king. Bayan shouted into the loudspeaker without sparing his voice. He is only 14 years old, but why does it seem to me that he has great experience in battles? He is more like a child whose body contains the soul of an adult. The vice director thought while watching the tournament. Well, be that as it may, they are still very lucky to have such a strong student this year. And then our hero once again regretted that he had such a caring brother. The Kadi family has lost all its reputation. Even after cheating, they lost to my brother. What a disgrace, was heard from above. People looked up and saw Hu flying towards the stadium in a hot air balloon. Suddenly the basket began to sway. You are too noisy! Our hero and the vice director thought at the same time, and using shuriken needles as a hidden weapon, pierced the balloon, which was immediately picked up by the wind and carried away into the distance. I'll be back, was heard from above. Well, the offspring of the Changwan family, I won't just leave it like that, Ka Diyun promised himself, being gloomier than a cloud. He was so angry that his fingers grabbed the concrete slab, like sugar glass, and broke it. The young man was determined to ensure that his opponents disappeared from Kargat Academy. But the tournament ended, and our hero was given the core of a first-level animal as a reward for becoming the king of newcomers this year. The reward was given to him by Bayan. Thank you, Vice President. If that's all, then I'll go to my place. Chen answered, taking the box with the reward. Xian Tian, continue to work in the same spirit. I have very high hopes for you. I closed the door after the student, and said after him. After which he closed the doors more tightly. If you walk further through the room in which he received our hero, then behind the embroidered curtains, you can see another doorway. Director, what do you think about him? And asked after going into the next room. The director turned out to be a rather elderly man of short stature, with a thick gray beard and a small bald patch on his head. He sat in the lotus position, thoughtfully smoking a kisarin, a long Asian smoking pipe. He is very talented and mature for his age. Is he really 14 years old? The director was surprised. Should the academy sponsor his education and training? And continued to ask. But the old man said that this is not necessary yet, since some people may not approve of it. Do you mean them? And specified. If he passes the next test, then we will make our move, answered the old man. Okay, director, I understand you. Bayan bowed to him and wishing him good night, retired to his rest. Meanwhile, our hero, having left the vice director's office at the exit of the building, found his brother sitting on the steps nodding his nose. Hearing the steps, Hu perked up. Why did Mr. Bai call you to his office? What did he tell you there? He bombarded Chen with questions. He just gave me the reward. Big brother, you almost died trying to get the monster core for me, so I'm giving this core to you. Our hero ordered, opening the chest and presenting the core for everyone to see. But Hu did not want to accept such a gift, since the reward was intended for Chen and therefore should not be given away just like that. The boy was about to object, but Hu declared that he should obey his elders. Okay, I'll keep it for myself, Zhang agreed. His complacence immediately lifted Hu's spirits. Having embraced their younger brother, they walked along the alley and announced that in honor of Chen's victory he had thrown a party. 
Much they did not pass. Strips of fabric were stretched between the trees on which were written. Xian Tian, you are my hero. Well done, you won. And Xian Tian, you are the best brother. Is this all your work? Looking at all this splendor, Chen asked. Of course, this is a big victory. I am very proud of you. Hu assured him. But to his surprise, his younger brother, looking around, warned him that there was something wrong with this place. What? Are you talking about the fact that there is no one here? Who thought about the wrong thing? Before he had time to blink a couple of times, the mysterious pursuers made their task easier by coming out of their covered rooms. They, of course, were the heirs of the Kadi clan. All three of them had their hearts burning with hatred for the two brothers standing in front of them. Changguang Xiantian, you defeated my second brother and third sister using a forbidden method using demonic magic. I want justice for Kadi's family, Yun said, stepping forward. You just want to regain your reputation. If you have the courage, you can fight me. Shielding Chen with himself, Hu answered instead. You laughed maliciously. Are you so confident in your victory? Do you think you can handle me? He growled. And then, as if a veil had fallen from his body, I sprayed inner strength around. Even inexperienced martial arts beginners could recognize this energy. Have you really learned to turn holy power into weapons? Seeing a sword with a long handle appear out of thin air, he admired the skill of his brother Liang. Is Yun really stronger than my brother? Our hero was surprised at this turn of events. Chang Guang Hu, today you will disappear from this academy along with your brother, Yun promised and moved forward. But suddenly he stopped. The Kadi family was known for convincing all people with their virtue, and as it turned out, never fought against the unarmed. Therefore, to honor the memory of his family, Yun threw a sword to his opponent in order to fight him. So what if you have reached the level of a saint? I'm not afraid of you, Hu said, deftly picking up the sword by the hilt. And he ordered that our hero, while he was fighting and detaining Yun, leave here. And without waiting for the trace of his younger brother to go cold, he began to attack. Yun took the fact that he was the first to fight as a sign of arrogance. And now he certainly didn't want to give any more concessions. The clang of two iron swords filled the nook. In the reflection of the metal, four pairs of eyes were visible. Two were filled with misunderstanding and courage, and the remaining pair of eyes burned with hatred. Another moment, and Yun cut Hu's sword in half. Only now Hu finally realized that things were really bad. However, the enemy should not underestimate him. Ignoring the sword hanging over him, Hu attacked Yun and knocked him to the ground. While shouting at his younger brother to run away from here, Do you think you will stop me with your pathetic grip? The young man laughed and he threw his opponent away from him, after which he made an overhead lunge, rewarding Hu with several powerful blows to the head, and in the end he threw him back. Our hero barely managed to pick up his older brother, who was almost losing consciousness. Why are you still here? Hu was perplexed, but Chen simply could not leave him wounded here. But suddenly the boy's patience came to an end. Bastard! How dare you hurt my brother! I won't let you go so easily, he promised, taking Hu aside, and making sure that his wounds were not bleeding heavily. His brother shouted after him to stop because the opponents were too strong, but he did not listen. Looking at our hero approaching, Liang asked permission from Yun to allow him to deal with the enemy this time, and received permission. Well, Changguan Xiantian, last time I wasn't ready, but now I'm definitely stronger than you. Liang boasted, tensing his muscles. But before he could finish speaking, Zhang, in an instant, found himself next to him with the back of his hand and slapped him in the face. After which he kicked him in the stomach so that the young man doubled over and rolled to the side, crying in pain. I'm not in the mood to listen to the barking of your yapping dog today. Our hero said looking at the eldest son of the Kadi clan. Needless to say, his blow shocked those around him, coming a little closer to Yun, looking down at him. Chen promised that he would deal with him one on one. I admit, this time you were able to defeat my second brother again. But even Changyuan Hu with the 10th level of holy power cannot cope with me. What can a measly 8th level do to me? He laughed, and under the war cry of his sister that he should teach the impudent boy a lesson, he raised his sword, because he was not going to deny himself the opportunity to play with a new toy. I hope you will last until the end of your torment, Chen said without taking his eyes off the approaching enemy, and then the air around him began to crackle, forming small lightning bolts around him. It was the boy who allowed his aura. Stop hiding. Yun watched our hero for a long time both during the tournament and now, when he defeated his brother, and therefore believed that he already knew his limit of struggle. 
and therefore against absolute strength his pathetic tricks are useless. I'll mince you and your brother, Yun shouted, putting his sword forward. But Chen dodged a somersault. The next few attacks were also unsuccessful for Yun. And when, in confusion, he began to think about how he could speed up so that the sword could overtake the enemy, the boy decided to make his move. He hit the young man in the solar plexus with a swing. The skin of a saint is harder than steel, your attempts are in vain, laughed at the efforts of our hero Yun. And he jumped to the side, throwing his sword from hand to hand. Our hero did not give up, and tried to hit the enemy several more times, but all the attacks showed no effect at all. Fourth brother, run! He is too strong for you! Watching the fight, Hu shouted that he was strong. Don't even hope, it's too late. Yun answered for her younger brother and jumped up and found herself right above Chen's head. But suddenly an amazing thought came into our hero's head. When Yun landed in front of him, he turned his body to the right side and crawled between the enemy's legs with lightning speed. Thus finding myself behind his back, however, I stood closer to his right shoulder. He did this so that the enemy felt a threat from the right side and turned towards him over his right shoulder, extending his right hand, which was tightly gripping the sword. And when his plan came true, Jang hit him on the elbow with a flourish. Of course, the power of the saint is indeed very great. However, even if the master's skin is hard, the joint still remained fragile, and our hero took advantage of this opportunity. No, my hand. This can't be. I'm a saint, Yun shouted, looking at his broken arm. It seems that the spoiled nobles have no experience of real fighting, our hero commented, looking at the shocked face of the defeated enemy. While fussily, like a hen around her freshly hatched chickens, Chu rushed around her brother, wanting to somehow help him. Back off! Yun grabbed his sister by the hair and threw her away from him like a beggar. I'll kill you, bastard! He shouted so that his vocal cords trembled. With the veins on his face bulging with anger, he ran up to the boy and grabbed him by the clothes, trying to somehow take out his irritation on him. Have you ever killed? Not paying attention to the splashes of saliva, Chen asked in a calm voice. His question took the young man by surprise. Believe me, if we continue this battle, you will die a terrible death. So get out or die, he assured, unclenching his opponent's fingers. His threat at first seemed funny to Yun, but as soon as he looked into the boy's eyes, he promised in a hushed voice that he wouldn't just get away with it and retreated from the battlefield as soon as possible. Still, I decided to run away. What a loser, our hero commented, crossing his arms over his chest. For the first minute, Hu could not say a word out of admiration for his brother. This silence seemed strange to Chen, and he was about to explain something but did not have time. Fourth brother, are you really only 14 years old? When you fight, you look terrifying. Hu was delighted. What do you mean? I'm really only 14 years old. Do you want to go play? Chen assured him, putting a smile on his face. I believe you. Just don't make such an insatiable villainous face. The elder brother babbled, pulling back, so that he would not understand anything. Our hero rushed to him with hugs, but only aggravated the situation, because his grin made Hu feel uneasy. But they did not know that they were being watched from the roof of the main building of the Kargit Academy. This youngest son of Mr. Changguan is so funny. What do you think of him? Trying not to stick out too much from the roof, he asked the opinion of his colleague Bai An. Unlike him, the teacher did not watch the battle. She was more interested in the denouement. You shouldn't praise this boy so much. Besides, it's not for me to decide whether he dies or lives. People from above have turned their attention to him and will now watch him closely, because such is fate, she answered. While our hero had diffused the awkward situation, he was now laughing and joking with all his might, spending the rest of that evening in a good mood. But that was yesterday, and today his older brother showed him how unreliable he could be. Hu suddenly decided to retire and told his younger brother to return the books to the library for him. The written publications were completely different, with leather bindings and a length of 1,000 pages. But there were also completely simple books. But yesterday, Chen still had to make the most of his acting skill and ability to lie. Because Hu did not leave him behind with the question, where did he learn to cultivate like that? There was no way out, and Zhang taught his brother cultivation techniques from a past life, but explained this by saying that he had read this method in books in the family library. And since Hu grew up in his mother's house, it was not surprising that he knew nothing about it. And having barely mastered the technique, he hastened to cultivate in order to quickly reach the level of a saint with the help of persistent training. Why is he suddenly so wound up? Our hero did not understand his energy, 
and he also didn't understand where books of an erotic nature came from in the library of the Kargat Academy. Now it seemed he understood why his older brother couldn't concentrate on training. So in thought, the boy approached the library. It was a huge three-story building that could rightly be called a work of art. This place is much bigger than our family library. Looks like I found a great place for cultivation and self-improvement. Chen was delighted and ran as fast as he could into the building. But before entering the library, two students blocked his way. To pass, you need to pay. They explained the rules. Jiang raised an eyebrow in confusion. Exactly. Ka Di Yun returned to his home after the disgrace. So the rights to the library came under the control of Luo Jing, explained one of the guys. Was it the guy with the scar who decided to take a break from studying? Our hero continued to ask. But the guard interrupted him saying, stop asking stupid questions and again demanded money for entry. But then two more guys appeared behind Chen. Nonsense. The library territory belongs to Qing Ming, especially since it's not your turn to collect money, said the red-haired man with a tousled hedgehog on his head. Okay, we are all classmates here, so let's avoid conflicts. Kid, pay for two passes. The guard, holding out his hand, found a way out of the current situation. These conversations make the boys head load. Are you serious? He asked, looking straight at the guys. I told you. We collect entrance fees. Do what you're told, the guard ordered, and hit the stack of books Chen was holding with his elbow. The two guys who approached were also on his side and surrounded the boy on all sides and loomed over him menacingly. I really don't want to stand out, but alas, you don't give me any other choice. Our hero sighed. For some time only sorrowful sighs, painful screams, and dull blows were heard. Brother, we were wrong. Have mercy, guard Luo Qizian shouted. Brother, we won't do this again. Please let us go, Cheng Ming's people prayed. All four knelt before our hero asking for mercy. Well, now what do you say? What did you do wrong? Picking up the scattered books of his older brother, Chen began to teach. We collected money for entrance to the library and should not do that anymore, the hooligans reported. But then another misunderstanding occurred, which made the boy feel awkward. As he picked up that same erotic book with a naked girl on the cover, someone loomed over him. This someone was the same girl whom he wanted to protect in the forest from crazy guys, but she misunderstood everything. Raising his head, Chen recognized the stranger. My teacher said that you are a good person, but it turned out that all these people who charge money for passage are your henchmen. She made an accusation with an offended pout, and picking up the book that came across her way at the wrong time, she asked how a 14-year-old boy could read such depraved books. Another misunderstanding has occurred. Please listen to me. Chen immediately took the book and began to babble, but the girl didn't want to listen to him. Pervert, this time I will definitely not spare you, she promised. You got it all wrong again. This is not my book, and these guys are not my henchmen. Quickly, quickly, barely having time to pronounce the words, our hero began to make excuses. Still denying that fact, I heard these four guys call you brother. The girl shouted the last word, and taking two quick steps, hit the boy in the jaw with her fist. Hey, explain everything to her. Jang ordered, turning to the four. But the guys took advantage of the situation and ran away, simultaneously shouting that he should just wait. Then they would take revenge on him. Holy shit, this situation is getting more and more difficult, Chen thought annoyed. Be that as it may, he had his own dignity, and fighting the weak was not his privilege. But the girl's determined face told him that he would not be able to keep his hands to himself today. But still, our hero came up with a wonderful idea. Holding out his hand, he pretended to want to grab it. The girl's head immediately flashed. She's attacking! But then Chen shouted in fear, pointing to the side behind her. Vice Director Bai? Where? The girl exclaimed, turning around. And while she stood there in confusion, our hero took off. It's strange. Mr. Bai is not there, the girl thought, turning to the enemy who had already disappeared. This villain escaped again. Just get caught by me again. Next time you will definitely be finished. The student screamed, almost crying from resentment. Now, she even lost the mood to go to the library, and she trudged back to the hostel, while our hero, trying not to even breathe, hid behind the monument. Phew, I'll avoid her for now. I'm a swordmaster after all. There's no point in fighting seriously with a little girl. Zhang thought, cautiously peeking out from behind the granite. And you are very good at hide-and-seek. Bayan quietly approached him behind him and praised him. Vice Director, where did you come from here? The boy almost screamed in surprise. The man waved his fan, smiling. You're also very good at pretending. He continued to compliment. 
Sorry, Vice Director, but I don't understand you, Chen said, trying to look frightened. But then Mr. Bai asked about his relationship with this girl, and also why he was avoiding her. Not to say that we have any relationship. I communicated with her only for the second time. There was a small misunderstanding, and, in order not to make things worse, I decided to run away from her. Our hero explained the situation. Yi Shentian, do you believe in fate? Mr. Bai suddenly asked. What? Chen didn't understand him. This academy has four main areas, and a total of 10,000 students study here. I think that your meeting is nothing more than fate, the man said thoughtfully. And what kind of fate is this? This is one big misunderstanding, Chen commented thoughtfully on his words. But the vice president laughed, arguing that over time when the boy grows up, he will understand everything. And now each of them needs to go their own way to do their own thing. I will never be able to understand what the vice director is thinking, Jiang sighed. Well, okay. He just needs to quickly give these unfortunate books back. But that was not the case. Brothers, it was him. Teach him a lesson quickly. As soon as the boy was left alone, he was heard in the yard. Another moment and the boy was surrounded by a dozen strong, strong students. Lord, I just want to return the books to the library. Our hero prayed in his heart. But after a while, these guys also beat their foreheads in front of him, begging for forgiveness. Well, wait a little longer and think about your behavior. In the meantime, I need to return these books, Chen said, enjoying his superiority. Okay, big brother, the defeated shouted back to him. But as soon as the silhouette of the sensational Changguan Xiang Tian at the Kargat Academy disappeared into the doorway, they instantly ran to their adamans. Brother Luo Jian, our guys were beaten near the library. They announced from the doorway as they flew into the training room. A sudden roar shook the walls of the hall. Iron granite dumbbells fell to the floor. With their help, a powerful two-meter student with a hooked nose and pumped-up muscles trained. And who dared to touch my people? He asked, his eyes flashing menacingly. Unlike Luo Jiang, student Chengming had a different hobby in his spare time. He caught various animals for his amusement and obtained various cores from their bodies. And it was at that moment when he finished off the last animal that news of the beating of his subjects overtook him. And who was it? Is he really tired of living? He thought while changing his bloody student uniform. Finally, our hero returned the books to the library and came out empty-handed. Is it really over? I will never help my brother with such things again. It gives me too many problems. Chen swore, stretching sweetly. But then he was attracted by the crowd standing with their backs to the library. Being extremely interested in why so many people had gathered in such a place, the boy began to make his way forward. Cheng Ming, since Ka Yun took a break, have you decided to stick your head out and take the position of chief? Law asked everyone the main question. And you think quickly. Ka Yun was never my equal. I just didn't want to waste my time on him. Min answered him. What exactly is going on here? Our hero asked the guy standing next to him what was happening. Didn't you hear? Someone beat up Ming and Luo's men, he explained to him. Well, yes, I heard, because I was the one who did it. Chen answered him in a calm voice. And why then ask, since you know? Don't pay attention to the meaning of his second part of the sentence, the guy answered. But a second later, when it dawned on him, he shouted, pointing his finger at the boy. It turns out that it's all your fault, he asserted. Everyone around looked at our hero, but Chen, absolutely without fear or embarrassment, approached the two leaders of academic gangs. So you are the one who wounded my people? I heard about Changguan Xiangtian. You seem to be this year's rookie king, right? Clarify low, but Min was in no hurry to say hello. He looked carefully at the freshman standing in front of him. This kid is very dangerous. He has the face of a man who has killed before, he thought, relying on his experience and intuition. And Luo was already making full accusations towards Jiang Chen, saying that if he became the king of newcomers, this does not mean that everything is allowed to him, and let him now kneel down and beg for mercy before it is too late. But they didn't know that our hero didn't care about their threats. In a past life, he founded a sect and was its leader. Even if there were many opponents, thanks to his fighting skills and art, it was not difficult for him to defeat them. Again and again, entire nations took up arms against him alone. But Zhang Chen emerged victorious from battles again and again. Even if the whole world turns against him, he can destroy everyone with his sword. Concentrating, the boy prepared to attack. But then Tie Ta appeared between him and his opponents. What are you doing here? Chen asked displeasedly, glaring at his friend. But Tai turned his back to his back. Changguan Xiangtian is my brother. If you annoy him, then you annoy me, he announced publicly. I am extremely flattered to hear such words. But this conflict is between me and them. 
you should not get involved in it. Our hero tried to convince his friend to leave this place. Xintian, do I look like a person who is afraid of problems? Do you really consider me your friend? Tai crossed his arms over his chest and began to sort things out, but they were not allowed to ponder this question for long. Don't be arrogant, it's not like you can't stand against us, Law shouted, pointing his finger at them. After him, Ming gave a sign to his boys to attack the two friends, who appeared separately and so instilled fear in those around them, and now together they could move mountains. Tai basically killed all opponents with his huge strong fist, and Chen used his agility and agility. Together they created an invulnerable ensemble of fearless fighters. In principle, the blow of each of them was enough to immediately knock out the attackers. After some time, Lo and Min realized that without their help, the guys would not be able to defeat two crazy friends. Often in fights and skirmishes, Ming used his iron-clawed fingertips, which contained a dozen thin and sharp blades. All he had to do was wave his arms, and the blade would fly out towards the victim. Tai was the first to notice the approaching blades, following him as our hero. But he realized that with the help of the Azulet sword technique, he would be able to block Ming's attack. In one millisecond, he managed to calculate where to land which blade, and although he failed to summon his spiritual weapon, still with the help of the wind, he managed to turn iron into stones. Xiang Tian, you are so strong. If it weren't for you, I think I would have died already. Thanked for saving Tai's life. Only our hero was not delighted with his abilities, because skills and experience alone cannot bridge such a large difference in levels. This Ming guy is a high-level saint. He is two levels higher than Ka Di Yun, and he just used 50% of his power. But the enemy also appreciated Chen. He had never seen such an interesting way to block the energy of a ball before, and promised that if the boy told him about it, he would not kill him. Aren't you afraid that you will be expelled from the academy for such a threat? Asked Zhang. If the director finds out about this, then you will definitely fly out, Tai assented to him. But Ming didn't care. Finally our hero got tired of talking too much. Yes, and Chung wanted to quickly have fun with his iron claws. And so the two guys were supposed to collide in a crazy fight but a huge energy column shone between them, which pushed the guys away from each other. This clash between students was prevented by the vice principal. Looking at his angry face, opponents on both sides realized that it was better not to anger him now, otherwise it would only get worse. Our academy is not the place for such barbaric brawls. Fighting in a public place is a serious violation of the rules of the academy. A great shame. Mr. Bai began to count down. If until this moment, Lo and Ming were scattering words about the fact that they do not care about the foundations of the Kargat Academy, now they drooped, bowing their heads. Since you are all so energetic, this time I will do you a favor. In a month, there will be a hunt for monster cores. If you show yourself well, then I will forgive you. And if not, then you will be punished for all your crimes. The vice director pronounced the verdict. But Ming objected, because novices did not participate in the hunt. Starting this year, First-year students will also participate in the competition. Those who do not achieve acceptable results will be immediately excluded. Everyone should participate. No excuses, Mr. Bai repeated and looked into the eyes of our hero to confirm his words. Should I participate too? The vice director is clearly up to something, Chen thought, looking back point blank. A light breeze gently tugged at the leaves on the trees, and the settled morning fog prevented the dust from rising up. Among the mountains far from civilization, the director of the Kargat Academy found refuge in one of the caves. Today, Bayan came to visit him. He wanted to hear the director's opinion on whether Xiang Tian should take part in the hunt. Even if not, what can I do? They are putting too much pressure on the academy, answered the old man. But An didn't expect these people to make their move so quickly, and was worried about whether to warn Xiang Tian. In between, the men played chess. The director thought for a moment, peering at the chessboard after which he shook his head. What do you mean? An did not understand. Delivering a responsible blow in the game. No need. This will be part of the test in the hunt for cores. Several candidates will participate. Let them rely only on themselves. So they will prove that they are worth something. The winner gets everything. The loser gets nothing. Watching how the chess on his side was losing its squares, the old man explained. But the whole catch was that the king of the kingdom in which our hero lived needed a successor in his place. And only the strongest winner in the hunt for the cannonballs would be able to marry Princess Gaylan. And then, out of the blue, the director made several moves at once. Checkmate, he said. Anne stared in bewilderment at the chessboard and how several white pieces disappeared from it. 
Did you take advantage of the fact that I was distracted by the conversation and immediately made several moves? He didn't understand. Just accept defeat, no need to go into details. The old man waved his hands. And changing the topic, he asked what Cheng Yuan Xiangtian was doing these days. Because he heard that after the incident, the teenager disappeared somewhere. The boy found a secluded place for cultivation. He is still young, but already quite experienced, said An. The director smiled. He was 99% sure that our hero would definitely show his best side in this competition. The secluded place about which Mr. Mr. Bai, where our hero was cultivated, was also located in a dense forest and impenetrable thickets among mountains and caves. Taking out the core he received as a reward from the rookie tournament, Chen pressed it between his palms, gradually heating it with its warmth. After some time, the stone began to heat up and give off heat in response. More and more, and now it seemed to the boy as if he was holding not a stone in his hands, but a piece of bright flame. By combining the law of the Azulet Sword with the knowledge he acquired in the library, the speed of his cultivation increased significantly. The core of a level 3 monster contained enough holy power for Chen to immediately move from the 8th level to the 10th. Several hours have passed. Giving heat and energy to its owner, the core began to shrink, as if melting into air. Our hero has been waiting for this moment for a very long time, because after absorbing the monster's core, he will finally be able to form his holy weapon. When the core disappeared, turning into a small grain of sand, Chen clenched his palms, internally tense and concentrated. And then the frame of a sword gradually began to appear out of thin air in front of him. Gradually, our hero's body began to fail, because the weapon required too much holy power, and he was already almost running out of it. At some point, the boy lost control of his body and fell from the boulder on which he was sitting. Having come to his senses, he saw under him a small spot of blood flowing from the lungs. Looking back, he saw his sword. The weapon was like a ghost. Objects were visible through it, and it was not sharp. But even though Zhang was not able to completely create his sword, he still came as close as possible to the level of a saint. Only after combining the holy weapon with his soul does a person achieve this rank. And if he wants to become a saint, then he will need a lot of holy power and a monster core to win the competition his chance that he should not miss. If our hero was in a good mood that night, then the same could not be said about Chang Ming. Taking advantage of his position and connections, he hired hired professionals to do the dirty work. Ming could not find a place for himself because Chang Guan Xiangtian fought with him on equal terms. This time your task will be to deal with all the garbage on the hunt, Min ordered. Yes, sir, agreed people in long black cloaks, hoods hiding their faces. Princess Jilin will be mine. No one deserves it except me, stated Min. So a month passed in the crazy training of our hero. Participants and students of the competition gathered in a well-known place in front of a portal in the forest near the Kargot Academy. First of all, when Chen arrived there, he began to look at those present. I hoped to see among them his older brother, who for some reason was nowhere to be seen. But then, instead of who, that same mysterious blonde stranger caught his eye. Someone. But Zhang didn't expect to see her here. He had already had several embarrassments with her, but he still did not know her name. And by the pure will of fate, the girl, without knowing it, accidentally stood next to our hero. Hello? Chen greeted when their gazes collided with the student. But the girl pointedly turned away from him. We'll have to try to explain everything to her somehow, Chen thought, laughing in his heart. Finally, when everyone had gathered, the vice director appeared. The cannonball hunt was about to begin, but before that he had to explain the rules. The forest in which the hunt will take place was divided into three tiers human, earthly, and heavenly. The deeper the participants go, the more powerful monsters they will meet. The competition will last three days. Participants will need to bring five cores to pass the competition, but they will be disqualified if they decide to give up or do not collect enough cores. Moreover, some students who have already violated discipline will not be able to count on leniency if they are not even able to pass this test. Wow, how easy it is. Just five monster cores, Law commented. In contrast, Ming simply remained silent. And our hero did not even listen to the words of the vice president, considering him too grumpy. All participants will be given a space belt. It's kind of like a bottomless bag. You can put anything you want in there, but it doesn't add any weight. At the end of the competition, half of the cores will be given to the academy, and the remaining half will remain with the participants. Well, then this time, I need to get as many monster cores as possible in order to quickly become a saint. Zhang thought, soldering himself with the spatial belt. In the end, the vice principal gave a hint that students who had not reached the rank of saint could form a team and hunt in the human and earth tier, and those who had advanced to the saint stage 
could immediately go to the celestial tier, and with a wave of my faith I was about to declare the competition open, but that was not the case. How many people have gathered? Just great! Mr. Bai was interrupted by a voice coming from above from the balloon. Of course, who did not forget that today was a competition, and came to show off to everyone? He even attached a long strip of fabric to the ball on which was written, Congratulations to Chang Yuan Hu on becoming a saint. Come on, look at me, Chang Guan Hu, the new saint! Our hero's older brother shouted with his arms outstretched. You seem to have attention deficit disorder, Chen thought, still not accustomed to the bright appearance of his brother in public. Luckily, the seam on the balloon gave way and tore again. I can't stop him! Help! Hu asked for help. Finally, when the balloon disappeared from sight, his screams stopped. So, although the atmosphere was destroyed by the efforts of Chang Yuan Hu, the competition began. Mr. Bai announced loudly. Not only did he lose his mood, it disappeared for everyone. Brother knows how to ruin a serious atmosphere. Zhang agreed with dejected faces flashing everywhere. And then, one after another, the participants began to pass through the portal. As soon as Ming crossed the threshold of the portal, he immediately ordered his guys to keep an eye on Changguan Xiangtian, and if the opportunity arises, immediately kill him after entering the forest, and then finish off all the other participants so that they don't leave anyone alive. Meanwhile, our hero, without thinking about what awaits him ahead, humming a song under his breath, passed through the portal in a relaxed manner. Going inside, the boy got the impression that instead of terrible creatures and monsters, Heavenly muses were hiding there. The forest was so beautiful. However, Jiang did not have time to enjoy the scenery, and, jumping tree to tree and covering long distances, went deep into the forest thicket. This forest was very large. A lot of students entered it through the portal. But Chen had not yet met anyone, not even monsters. But as they say in the proverb, remember the sun, here comes a ray. As soon as our hero thought about this, he came across a multi-horned bison who also scented the hunter. The animal was certainly a first-class monster. Chen's plan was to approach unnoticed and kill the animal with one blow. Having summoned his sword, he already wanted to rush towards the monster. But the victim suddenly sensed danger, and quickly left the place of the flock. At first, our hero rushed after him, but was stopped by a strange sound. Intuition told him that somewhere nearby, Tai Ta was in trouble. And leaving the bison to continue running headlong from danger, he hurried to the aid of his friend. He didn't have to look for Tai's location for a long time. This was evidenced by the screams of the young man, as well as by a huge 40-meter snake. Help! Please! Someone! Tai prayed, barely having time to swing his hatchet from side to side. Our hero thought for a moment. The snake was a second-class beast, but the lowest human tier should only have first-class monsters. But then the threatening snake opened its mouth, trying to gnaw the guy into two parts. And at that moment, using a long branch of the vine, Zhang grabbed Tai by the scruff of the neck, taking him with him. How did you manage to stumble upon a second-class monster? He asked during the flight. For the first minute, his friend could not even utter a word, being happy that he was alive. Xiang Tian, I'm so glad to see you. A snake appeared out of nowhere and tried to eat me. I hit her with the axe, but it only angered her, he explained. And he asked what our hero forgot in such a wilderness. I came to save you, so let's team up and kill the snake, Zhang suggested. But this is a second-class monster. Do you think we can do it? Tai was worried. It's a piece of cake. The two of us will be more than enough. Our hero assured him. Okay, then what is our plan? The friend asked, throwing the axe from hand to hand. Chen ordered him to make sure that the snake stopped moving and left the rest to him. As soon as Tai realized what was happening, he immediately began to carry out the assignment. To do this, he decided to use himself as bait, flashing right before the eyes of the snakes. Such impudent behavior naturally did not go unnoticed by the monster, and it angrily licked its lips, anticipating a delicious lunch. But it took the guy enormous strength to resist her, as well as to lift her and hit her with the back of the axe. The snake, not expecting this, fell back somersaulting, hitting its back painfully. Now our hero has joined the game. Having estimated the distance between him and the snake, while she was unconscious, he ran towards her. And with a sweeping aim, he plunged the sword into her head. The impact was so strong that several meters of flesh burned in the air, leaving the exposed skull and skeletal skeleton of the snakes. Only a few minutes of battle, and the guys were already a little tired. But our hero understood that this was just a small warm-up, because they still had three whole days of competition ahead of them. Suddenly Chen sensed something was wrong, and hurried to warn his friend about the impending danger in the form of a mutant scorpion, snake, and beetle 
Fortunately, Tai managed to use his axe, cutting off the monster's head. The sight, of course, was not a pleasant one. The monster's eyes rolled for a while, not realizing that the head had already been detached from the body. Xiantian, you still never cease to amaze me. How did you manage to sense the presence of this monster? Tai's friend admired, cutting the monster's body with an axe and taking out the core from it. I guess I have a talent for this. Our hero tried to explain his sixth sense. In a past life, on the verge of death, he managed to break through to a higher level. Then he was able to cover hundreds of miles around him with his divine sense using holy weapons and no one could hide from him. But now with such a big limitation on his powers, he can only expand his divine sense a short distance. Otherwise hunting these monsters would be much easier, if only because he can't stand the sight of someone's bloodied phalanxes. It was a first-class monster, Tia said, playing with a green core in his hands. We are on the beginner tier, it is logical that there should only be first-class monsters here. Chen answered him. But this huge python was second class. Let's try to find another one, suggested his friend, examining the sharpened axe blade. But Jiang was interested in something else. He could not understand what the python had forgotten in the human tier. Perhaps there is someone, or something behind this? Suddenly the flock of birds left their shelters in the trees, not forgetting to chirp heart-rendingly. Their sudden rise was a bad omen for the friends. Another moment and someone's black shadow fell from the tree right on them. Taking a closer look, the guys recognized her as a werewolf. Both of them met such a monster for the first time in their real lives, and not in mythology textbooks. Which, by the way, was a first-class monster. The werewolf was four times taller than an ordinary person. Even a silver bullet did not always reach the skin thanks to his voluminous fur, and his fangs and sharp claws served as excellent weapons. Well, even though these are first-class monsters, but as my mother said, even cheap bread can fill you up if you have a lot of it, Tai laughed. Our hero also did not tremble with fear. In his family library, he read about werewolves who always move in a pack. And therefore, if you ever come across one, be sure that you are already surrounded. And Chen was right. Looking into the forest thicket, they saw a werewolf lurking under every second bush. Well, my dear friend, it's time for us to hunt werewolves, Zhang said. Tai readily agreed with him while they were wielding their weapons at full speed in order to collect as many cores as possible. Two of Cheng Ming's mercenaries wandered through the forest, hoping somewhere to pick up the trail of Changguan Xiangtian. Gradually they began to worry, because after entering the forest their victims seemed to evaporate. But what scared them most was that if Ming found out that they had lost Xiangtian, they would have a hard time. However, they shouldn't have worried so much because they would never appear before their boss again because of the werewolf who took their lives. Only he was somehow strange, huge, like a small mobile mountain. For several minutes the mercenaries were tearing their throats from screaming, asking for help, but no one responded. Meanwhile, not only in the forest where the hunt took place, something was going wrong. Director, I don't understand what's happening. The forest was surrounded by a barrier and cut off from the rest of the world. Mr. Bai reported bursting into the office of the main person at the Cargat Academy. The director immediately began to examine the portal. It turned out that after the start of the competition, there was this strange barrier around the forest, which, like a dome, covered the entire forest. Mr. Bai tried many ways to get through it, but nothing worked out for him. This barrier was created by the first director. No wonder you couldn't turn it off. I don't think even I can do it, said the old man. Although he didn't show it, his heart was filled with pain, realizing the danger the students were in. Was it installed by the first director? Then why did it suddenly turn on? Anya continued to ask, touching the barrier again and again. I don't know. This may have something to do with the secret research the director was doing at the time. One way or another, the first director died unexpectedly without telling anyone what kind of research he was conducting in the forest, said the old man. And what should we do now? Many students are trapped on the other side of the barrier. If something happens, he couldn't even find words to express his concern and threw up his hands. Believe in them. They are the pride of our academy. I will try to break this barrier during the day. I will have to use all my strength. Until then, all that remains is to pray for our students. The old man did not reassure, but encouraged his assistant. Using his holy power, he tried to break through the barrier, dispelling it. Mr. Bai silently watched his attempts. I hope the students will be okay, he thought. Meanwhile, friends in the forest were surrounded by more than a dozen werewolves. 
Let's split up and see who can kill more werewolves, Tai suggested. Our hero liked his game. Skillfully wielding his spiritual weapon, Chen managed to kill four werewolves in one jump. But Tie did not lag behind him. The monsters tried to attack him in a crowd over and over again, but immediately lost their heads. Seeing how their relatives easily said goodbye to their lives, some werewolves were afraid. And trying to save their lives, they began to run away. Are you running away? This won't work. You have nowhere to run. Our hero laughed. He was about to rush after the werewolves, but Tai was ahead of him, driving your axe straight into the monster's spine. None of the werewolves were able to escape from their warlike friends. Xiang Tian, we made a great team. Just look how many monsters we killed. Tai rejoiced. But Chen did not share his emotions. It seems to me that there is something wrong with these werewolves. The book I read said that forest werewolves are low-ranking first-class monsters. But these werewolves were clearly high-ranking. He said thoughtfully. As it turned out, Tai didn't even notice. In addition, the werewolves had human blood on them. The stains were fresh. This means that before they came across the guys, they attacked other students. It turns out there must be more people nearby who were attacked by monsters. And before Tai had time to answer Chen, he left his friend behind and, thanks to his divine instinct, rushed to the aid of the victims. After some time, a terrible picture was revealed to the friends. Several students, immobilized, without a lively sparkle in their eyes, lay in pools of blood. Are they all dead? How so? I couldn't find a place for Tia. Even though these werewolves were stronger than usual, they would not have been able to kill so many newcomers. Chen thought out loud. Xiang Tian, how can you remain absolutely calm in such a situation? Are we really the same age? Tai asked, peering intently at his friend. Our hero nodded his head. There were too many unusual things in this forest. But then he felt a barely audible sigh. Among the students, a girl was still alive lying at the roots of an elderberry bush. It gradually began to get dark. Taking the surviving girl with them away from the bloody field, the guys lit a fire and decided to dine on werewolf meat. Finally, the student began to come to her senses. At first, she only had enough strength to open her eyes. She felt as if her head was filled with lead. Touching her forehead, she felt for a piece of cloth. It was our hero who put a bandage on her head. Oh, you finally woke up, Tai greeted his classmate. And after him, Chen greeted with a nod of his head. Where am I? The last thing I remember was being attacked by werewolves, and after that, I don't remember anything. Oh yes, exactly. My comrades, what happened to them? The girl became worried. They are all dead, Chen said in an indifferent voice. The girl did not want to believe his words. But wait, those werewolves must still be around somewhere. We need to hide, she screamed, looking around. Don't worry, we've already dealt with them. The meat has just been fried, would you like to try it? Tai consoled her offering her a deliciously fried piece of werewolf meat on an axe. Nonsense! There was a whole pack of werewolves and you say that the two of you dealt with them? The student did not believe the guys. But Tai, showing her his toned muscles on his arms, assured her that they might not be visible, but they are just a great team. Gradually, the girl began to behave somehow unusually, and then in the distance they heard the howl of a werewolf. The girl frightenedly rushed between the guys, trying to find a safer place for herself. Let's eat first. And after that, we'll go have a look," suggested our hero. Do you really want to go there? He's probably very strong. Their friend in misfortune clasped her hands. Come on, it will be fun. Would you like to join us? Offered friendship to Tia. Thank you, but I'll probably refuse. I want to get out of here as soon as possible. The girl refused, wrapping herself in her cloak. Is it true? Okay, then be careful. Tai said goodbye. Finally, without turning around, the girl thanked them for saving her. And somehow, casually, she said that she hoped that they would meet again. For some time, the guys silently looked after her. Did I scare her away? T.A. thought thoughtfully. Our hero looked for the problem not in him, but in the girl herself, because she seemed strangely like cotton wool to him. But it's normal for females to be so timid at this age. What's the big deal? Ty asked, peeling off his clothes. Just a feeling. Forget it. Let's go hunt some monsters. Chen replied. Other monsters fled in fear from their next opponent. For some time, the guys watched him from afar. The monster was a second-class fire cloud beast. The book that Jiang read said that his attacks are weak, but his defense is very strong. Once again today, Tai admired the amount of knowledge of his friend, but Chen just read a lot of books. However, now they need to concentrate, because they cannot allow this huge minotaur to get far. 
Nodding to each other, the friends jumped on the monster's head. Tai tried to hit him with an axe with a flourish, and Chen stabbed him with his divine sword. And you call this very durable? Yes, it is impossible to break through it even if you thresh it all day. Impacts don't even leave scratches. Tai was indignant after several unsuccessful attempts. However, this does not mean that the Minotaur did not feel the annoying riders. Damn it, we seem to have pissed him off! Chen shouted, barely holding on, balancing on one leg. But the Minotaur felt that there was still someone small on him, but sitting and tearing the ground with his tusks and trying to get rid of his friends. Unable to resist, Tia rolled off the Minotaur's head. Are you okay? Our hero asked, worried about his friend. Yeah, completely. Tai said, stroking his bruised and for some reason suddenly bald head. How dare you make me bald? I'm only 16. You will be responsible for the damage caused to my appearance. Realizing what was happening, he shouted. And again, he began to attack the monster with force. He fearlessly ran between the tusks of the Minotaur, avoiding all obstacles. His goal was to cut one of the tusks. True, they were so strong that when Tai hit one of them, his hatchet broke. And the monster became even more angry than before. And now he was going to swat the young man like a bug with his paw. Hold on, I'm coming! Chen shouted, rushing to help his friend. But then someone's laughter was heard among the forest foliage. This is hilarious. Two brave newbies took on a second-class monster. They don't understand what they're getting into. Maybe we should show a little mercy and save their pathetic lives. Someone reasoned. Jing turned in the direction from which the voice was heard. There were three of them. Two stood on the right and left sides behind their commander. Even though both sides have enough strength, why don't we watch them beat each other to death? For now, we can just relax and reap the benefits when it's all over. They continued to discuss what was happening among themselves. After which, the leader turned to our hero, urging him to listen to one piece of wisdom. There is a saying. A praying mantis chases a cicada while an oriole sneaks behind. Like, life is unfair, but two friends can only accept it. I remember your words, Chen thought. Now it's time to show our arrogant elders what we are made of. He said, raising his head up. I don't even remember such bastards among my elders. Tai quipped, barely able to bear the weight of the Minotaur's paw. But the monster got tired of waiting. Then he finally gave up, and approaching the young man, growled threateningly. His roar awakened courage in Tia, and he decided to take a desperate act. Grabbing the Minotaur by the claw, he lifted it, and then threw it over his back to the ground. From the outside, it looked like an ant lifted a huge tarantula spider. Such a blow broke the monster's bones, not to mention its tusks. But such a throw cost Tia enormous efforts, and he, not even feeling his legs from fatigue, also lay on the ground. Only unlike him, the Minotaur still had the strength and energy to fight. Well, here our hero joined the battle. His spiritual weapon flew towards the animal at the speed of light. On the first throw, it hit the Minotaur in the mouth, striking sparks along the teeth, which caused an explosion that knocked the animal unconscious for a couple of seconds. And while it was confused, our hero, using the Azulet sword technique, took advantage of the moment. And now the Minotaur aimed his sword right at the eye. After all, the body of the fire cloud beast is completely covered with impenetrable fur, but its eyes remain unprotected. And if the power from the Azulet sword technique penetrates the body of the beast, then it will be able to shred it from the inside. The Minotaur screamed, wriggled, rolled on the ground from the terrifying wild pain that struck his body, after which, exhausted, he fell to the ground. The trio watching what was happening shuddered nervously. Their eyes were fixed on the fourth son of Lord Changguan, who, slowly feeling superiority, approached them. Earlier you said something about some kind of analogy in life. Can I repeat once again who is the praying mantis and who is the oriole? Our hero asked, smiling ominously. The trio fell to their knees in silent obedience before him or rather, in front of the tail of the Minotaur on which Chen stood. Sir, here are all the cores that we collected. Please accept them as a token of apology for the words we previously said. Having dumped six green kernels out of the bag, they asked for forgiveness. Okay, I think we can let go this time. Tai agreed. He made himself a kind of hat from the skin of a werewolf, and now he proudly showed off his new look to everyone. Thank you, then me and my brothers will go. Taking advantage of the moment when Chen thoughtfully examined the sky, the eldest of the trio ordered. But Zhang stopped them. Sir, do you want to discuss something else with us? They asked, praying to God to leave this place as soon as possible. Zhang was silent for about a minute, forming his question and then turned to the guys. Since you were at the competition, I was wondering if you encountered something similar in past competitions, he said. 
but the trio had never seen or encountered anything like this before. However, this strange phenomenon throughout the sky reminded them of something like a dome. Unfortunately, Chen's guesses turned out to be true. This had never happened before, and he assumed that perhaps the vice director was behind all this. But still our hero had the feeling that all this was not so simple. This strange dome and overly strong monsters. While he was thinking, the trio escaped. What a bunch of garbage. They sound so cool in words, but in reality they immediately run away. Tai commented on the escape, counting the number of cores. However, now he himself was wondering what this strange dome in the sky was. Judging by what we have seen recently, we should prepare for the worst. Chen reassured him. Maybe he's thinking about it too much, though. Since there was no notification that the hunt is over, then everything is probably in order and the competition is going smoothly. But there is no point in worrying about this. We should collect as many cores as possible. Tai literally returned his friend from heaven to earth. A few miles from our hero and his friend, students were hiding in one of the mountain caves. They barely had time to repel the attacks of huge, iron-scaled snakes. Some of them were already dead, but thanks to the skillful mastery of combat techniques by that same mysterious blonde, they were unfamiliar. But the battles were not easy for her either. When did the monsters in this forest become so strong, she thought, while the other students sitting in the cave thanked her for saving their lives. Because without her, they would not have lasted until dawn. Now listen to me. Don't panic so much. The Academy won't sit idly by once they realize what's going on. The girl tried to reassure her friends. After all, they only need to hold out until help comes to them and then everyone can survive. Her encouraging words had an effect on the students and they, drawing their swords, also decided to fight. Still, nothing brings people together like common troubles and problems, thought the blonde girl looking at her fearless comrades. There were several worms surrounding their cave. Taking on the strongest one, the girl began to attack him. However, as one would expect from a second-class monster, they were much stronger than first-class monsters. The blood in her body circulated at an unprecedented speed, and her heart was pounding in her temples. The girl decided to stop for a few seconds, but this was her fatal mistake. A snake appeared right out of the ground in front of her and was now stretching out its parted mouth towards her. Damn, at this rate I don't think we'll last long, the girl thought, waving her sword around herself. But she was not going to give up, like a feather. She flew from place to place, trying to lead the monster away from the cave. But at some point, the cobblestone on which she landed was engulfed by the snake in its coils, and the girl, not feeling any support under her feet, fell down. Now she was sure that the monster's parted mouth was the last thing she would see in her life. Fortunately, our hero arrived in time, and thrusting his sword into the tail of the snake, he cut the entire body of the monster in half with one blow. The girl looked with detachment at the approaching figure of the man who saved her life for the second time. Well, hello little miss, and how will you repay me for eliminating life-threatening troubles? Our hero asked. Where did you come from here? That's all the girl managed to say, but Chen did not have time to answer because Tai called out to him. Thus, the lives of both the friend and the mysterious stranger were saved from yet another snake. But he was immediately disappointed. His blow was so strong that the monster flew so far away that there was no point in looking for it, which meant not seeing its core. Silence reigned for some time. Stop acting so hostile! We've come to help you! Chen said, addressing everyone, but primarily the blonde stranger. The students recognized him as the champion of the rookie tournament, as well as Tai, who took third place. Now with such fighters, they were not afraid at all. So, he is the famous Changguan Xiangtian? The one who took first place in the rookie tournament? The girl could not believe this turn of events, and our hero couldn't find anything better than to tease her. What happened? Did she swallow her tongue? Or did such a handsome guy like me leave you speechless? Jiang asked, pointing a finger at himself. But the girl left these questions unanswered. Now she could finally breathe out calmly. Wonderful. Then I entrust you with protecting these people because my body can't stand it anymore. These were her words. Before you fall down, Chen immediately ran up to her and picked her up. The girl's pulse was extremely weak, and she also had many internal injuries. And the fact that she was able to hold out for so long was a real miracle. Has she been battling such injuries all this time? Jung was horrified, turning to the students. Yes, she saved everyone here and single-handedly protected the passage to the cave from monsters. She continued to fight despite her condition. If she wanted, she could have left us to be devoured and left. But she insisted that we stay and did not give up until the very end said the others. Our hero looked into the face of the girl he was holding. 
this girl actually turned out to be quite kind and persistent. Take everyone to a safe place and I will stay and cover the rear, he ordered. No way. I won't go anywhere without you. I swore that I would never leave my brothers. His friend disagreed. Then it's decided. Ty and I will help you retreat. Now take her and run away from here. Find a safe place and treat your injuries, Chen ordered, handing the girl over to the rest of the students as quickly as possible. And turning to his friend, he warned him that the monsters that appeared before them were far from low ranking, but it was too late to give in. Do not make me laugh. If you're so scared that you're standing there somehow, then so be it. I'll help you. Tai laughed in response, and smiling at each other, they rushed to fight. Blood was sprinkled on everything. Trees, stones, grass. Even with the broken axe repaired, Tai was very good at wielding it. Soon, the young snakes were finished off and only one strong, huge snake remained. Realizing the amount of work they had ahead of them, Chen warned his friend that the wriggling monster in front of them was from the second class and was strong enough to be considered the third class. And this is another oddity in these competitions. Xian Tian, leave it to me and run. It will be better if one of us dies. Tai made a difficult decision. Please don't joke like that. Do you really think that I will run away and leave you alone? Jiang did not give in to his persuasion. Now, for several days now, he had enough power to create his own spiritual weapon. Moreover, he had fought against countless different monsters and felt that he was close to breaking through to a new level. As they say, the best way to become stronger is to constantly be on the verge of death. Tai again wanted to convince his friend to leave him and save himself, but Chen once again refused this idea. After all, now it doesn't matter whether they die or survive. Our hero again trusts his life to the sword and nothing could shake his confidence. Merging in his soul with the weapon, Chen felt that the sword was now one with him, and even the fact that several more equally strong creeping reptiles came to the aid of his relative did not make him slow down. Moreover, he wanted to feel the aroma of victory again more than ever. The boy ran straight towards them. Two snakes wanted to grab him, but they hit each other's heads. Taking advantage of the situation, Zhang, controlling his sword from a distance, cut off their heads and, hiding behind a fountain of blood, cut off the third snake. With her mouth open, Tia could only admire her friend. And why be surprised? In his past life, Chen was known as the fastest swordsman in the world. Watching the boy, it seemed as if he was flying. He jumped so quickly from place to place. His speed made even the snake's eyes ripple. And he, enraged, began to shower everything around him with blue flame. But the creeping creature had no idea that the enemy was not next to him, but on top of him. And our hero planned to defeat him, using the azalet sword technique called Cutting Mountains. When the sword hit the snake's head, cracks appeared all over the body from the place of the wound where it struck, from which the snake seemed to break into dozens of pieces. When Chen dealt with the monsters, he couldn't believe what he had done. However, he spent all his holy power. His legs gave way and he fell to the ground right before Tai's eyes. Xiang Tian, are you okay? Are you injured? Don't you dare die! That Tai shouted, pressing his best friend to himself. You crush me. Don't worry, it's okay. I've used up all my holy power, so I just need to rest for a while. Chen tried to explain the situation to him in a weakened voice. While he was recovering his strength, Tai took the cores out of the monster's bodies, and they came away with a whole mountain of loot. Just look how much we collected this time. I didn't expect this. We were very lucky. Not everyone can meet and defeat so many monsters. This is a complete success. He rejoiced at the treasures. Suddenly someone's silhouette flashed over their heads, which landed right next to their feet. When the dust settled, they saw Hu indignant. Big brother, what are you doing here? Our hero was perplexed. After all, he still couldn't get used to the shocking appearance of his older brother. Before Hu had time to answer, a voice was heard from the forest thicket. Are you still trying to escape, eldest of the Changguan family? Another moment, and Lo came out into the clearing, surrounded by his assistants. Just look. No one has taken these cores yet, one of the assistants said, pointing to the mountain of green stones that Chen and Tai had not yet managed to hide. Apparently a bunch of idiots killed all these monsters and then left all the catch here. Lo tried to explain such a gift of fate. Looking around, he saw two brothers and their friends standing on the pagoda. But these are the same idiots. That's lucky, and they really say that good things come in pairs. Not only will I be able to deal with the two brothers, but I will also take all these monster cores, he rejoiced. Meanwhile, Chen ordered Tai to look after Hu and his wounds. Little brother, don't be so impulsive. Luo is a mid-level saint. Hu tried to reason with the teenager, but Zhang did not listen to him. 
and walked forward with a confident gait. So you want to get rid of us? Do you really think you can handle me? Is that enough strength? Calling his spiritual sword out of the air, our hero threw a hairpin. Hugh's heart was filled with pride for her younger brother, because at the age of 14, he was able to reach the level of a saint. Concentrating, the boy continued to materialize his sword. When the first wave of shock passed, Hu only asked when Chen managed to become a saint. Tai barely had time to answer that, in fact this happened recently. There was very little left, but then lightning began to sparkle around the sword, and instead of further materializing, the weapon began to dissolve in the air, leaving behind a translucent smoke. The transition to the level of a saint greatly depleted our hero, so much so that he did not even have the holy power left to materialize a weapon. It turns out that all this show-off was just a bluff, and I was already starting to think that you were some kind of unimaginable genius. You scared us so much. Law grabbed his sides laughing. His assistants hastily asked to be allowed to finish off the impudent boy, but their law decided to raise the teenager himself. Brat, let me show you what a holy weapon really looks like he said, and in the blink of an eye an iron sword weighing somewhere around 50 kilograms appeared out of the air in front of him, equal to his height. Fourth brother, he is too tough for you. Run away from here, and I will detain them, Hu ordered, worried about the younger ones. But Tai, putting his arm around his shoulders, asked him not to worry and just trust Xiang Tian. It's okay, brother. I'll beat his bad manners out of him even without a holy weapon, our hero promised, smiling over his shoulder. On the ground he saw a sharpened wooden stick and did not neglect it. After all, even it will suit him as a weapon. But even Tia doubted his victory, let alone who. Boy, do you really dare to look down on me? Lo is trying to understand whether this is a game, or whether the teenager really threatens him. But he soon realized that the young man standing opposite him really decided to fight him with the help of an ordinary stick. Junior brother, be careful. Luo's holy power has a windy attribute, which allows him to move at high speed. Hu finally warned. This information will not help him in any way, Law reassured him, changing his location at the speed of light. The guy's eyes began to run wild from such speed, and they became convinced of the authenticity of the rumors that Law was indeed recognized as the fastest among all the students, and he forced those who went against him to give up thanks to speed alone. Is he really as fast as you say? What if I told you that I can predict the future? Who do you think will win then? Chen asked. What? So you can predict the future? Who was either surprised or horrified. Putting on an important air, our hero predicted that first law would carry out a piercing lunge, then a horizontal frontal blow, and finally a vertical cut. But he said that he could still win with the stick he was holding in his hands. Are you serious? This sounds absurd. I didn't believe what Tia heard. That's right, little brother. Our lives are at stake now. Not the best time for jokes. Who supported him? Well, Zhang already knew that they would not believe him, and therefore simply gave them the opportunity to watch him defeat the enemy. When Chen caught up with the guy, he was already on top of him, aiming his sword at his head. But our hero dodged and the sword stuck into a stone mountain. He really made a stabbing attack. Hu and Tai were surprised together. Chen smiled. There was a horizontal blow ahead. And therefore, without straining after the new attack, he remained absolutely safe and sound. And again, the guys, with their mouths open, were surprised at Chen's prediction. How could Xiang Tian understand Luo's fighting style with just one glance? This is some kind of magic, Hu was perplexed. And so Law, furious that he had still not been able to hit the enemy, decided to use a vertical cut. Well here Zhang safely jumped to the side. My younger brother will no longer surprise me with anything, Hu finally said, closing his mouth, while Tai was already picking his nose out of boredom. But now the time has come for our hero's lifesaver. And he, being faster than sunlight, found himself behind Lo's back and stuck a stick in the guy's right shoulder blade. This is impossible. My dexterity is much higher than yours. How were you able to dodge all my attacks? Law asked, trying not to howl in pain, gritting his teeth. Don't you still understand? Xiang Tian can predict the future. He knew all your moves from the very beginning. Hu gloated. Can you really see the future? Law asked, being confused. It was a lie. In fact, you just fell into my trap. I deliberately pretended to be open in order to provoke you, so you can say that I really predicted everything. Chen explained, gently tugging at the stick stuck in the enemy's shoulder. True, even Hu and Tai could not understand the meaning of his words, because for them it sounded even stranger than predicting the future. Unlike them, Law understood what our hero meant. His mentor, who taught him martial arts since childhood, 
once told him that if Law ever had to fight with an experienced master, he would be able to predict his every move. Moreover, this experienced master will be able to direct his attacks against him. But how can Xiang Tian be more experienced? He's only a few years younger than me. Looking at the boy's facial features, Law was horrified. His heart beat more and more quietly from fear, and cold sweat appeared on his back. What kind of monster are you, Xiang Tian? This question haunted him. Someone watched the altercation between the students of the Kargat Academy from the sidelines, and this someone believed that our hero was an ideal prey for him. Having dealt with one of the former bosses among the students of Kargat Academy, the guys still could not stop praising the youngest son of the Changyuan family. They were especially pleased by the fact that Law recognized him as the new boss of the academy, and now swore to him to carry out all his orders. They have already paid for their stupidity, so it is worth forgiving them. Zhang said, trying to change the topic, but only made the situation worse. The words of the younger brother are so fair and generous. I am sure that in the future he will definitely become the most respected person on the continent. Hu smiled. Yeah, the name Xiang Tian will spread everywhere and will be known to every person. Tai supported him. But our hero was more worried about why during all this time they had not met anyone yet. After all, some time had already passed since they entered the Earth tier, so why weren't there any monsters here? By the way, yes, until you mentioned it, I didn't think about it. Really, where are all the monsters? Tia thought thoughtfully. At this time, Hu began to look around, remembering that the last time he participated in the hunt for cores, this tier was swarming with dangerous monsters, ready to tear apart the students at any second. While he was thinking, something incredibly fast and invisible flashed through the forest thicket, illuminating the entire darkness of the night with a strange iridescent blue light. Pointing their fingers into the distance, Chen and Tai rushed there during the interruption to see what was there. Hu ran with them, but fell behind a little. Suddenly, the girl who was saved by our hero and his friend after an attack by werewolves covered Hu's mouth and nose with her hands and pulled him along with her. And without being able to somehow signal to his comrades about a request for help, the guy lost consciousness. After a couple of minutes, the guys felt that something was missing, and that something turned out to be the missing Hu. I wonder where he is. They immediately rushed to search for the elder. Oh, sorry, I just tripped. Hu shouted to them, climbing out from under the mountains of fallen leaves and twigs. You're so clumsy. Tai laughed at the awkward situation. Our hero remained silent. It seems that his brother's sudden antics have ceased to surprise him. A Hu suggested continuing the search for monsters on this tier. The younger guys happily supported his idea. Well, what's his name? More like a monster that has taken over Hu's body. At this time, the vice director was rushing around the classrooms of the academy in search of the necessary book. Finally, he found what he was looking for. It turned out that the first director of the Kargat Academy sealed a fourth-class monster deep in the forest, which could become completely invisible, which goes against all earthly laws. But what Mr. Bai read next made him swallow nervously. This rank four monster was capable of completely taking over a person's body. This is how the second day passed in search of the monster. In the evening, the trio found a secluded place and lit a fire. Seeing the tired travelers, the second-class monster, the demonic night owl, wanted to profit from them. But then she met Hu's gaze, and feeling fear of him, she flew away in a completely different direction. Our hero's elder brother looked after the flying bird for some time, and then turning to Chen, he said so tenderly and sweetly, My little brother. The boy watched his older brother for more than 12 hours, and even then it seemed to him that something was wrong with him. Meanwhile, maddened by brotherly love, Hu approached Chen, so he extended his hand to touch him. But Jiang grabbed his wrist. What? You can't control yourself anymore? Who are you and why are you pretending to be my older brother? Chen asked without fear in his voice. Have I already given myself away? It seemed to me that I perfectly copied the behavior of this idiot, didn't it? My game must be flawless, answered someone who possessed who. Alas, your game was too flawless. It's difficult to be you because my brother was originally an abnormal person. Our hero reasoned relying on logic, and his words drove the monster that possessed who into a dead end. However, this was what he was looking for. Zhang, as he expected, was indeed a smart fellow, and now it couldn't wait to try him out. What do you mean? Zhang didn't understand. Now your body belongs to me, shouted. The monster inside Hu and leaning its weight on the boy brought its face as close as possible to his. His goal was to establish eye contact between them. Everything went according to the monster's plan until they were suddenly thrown away from each other. Did I fail? 
but you just became a saint. How can your soul be so strong? The monster was perplexed. My soul has been in situations between life and death countless times. In a sense, I have already taken possession of this body myself. Now it's time for you to get out of my brother's body, Chen explained before releasing Hu. And touching the young man's forehead, he used the Azulet sword technique. It was with her help that he was able to expel the demon and seemingly free Hu. Meanwhile, having found the necessary book, Mr. Bai hurried to the portal and the barrier around the forest. It turns out that this barrier was created to contain the monster from the inside. The seal on the barrier was activated precisely because he is trying to escape, and we must do everything possible to prevent this. However, the monster has a way of taking over a person's body and mind. The director read the contents of the book. Slamming the book, he summed up that now their primary task is to save the students and ordered to direct all the master's attacks to one point of the barrier in order to weaken it. But what if the monster takes possession of one of the students and tries to escape? Then we will have to be very vigilant. Mr. Bai was worried. The book says that the monster can only affect those who have not reached the level of a saint. So after we break through the barrier, we will need to gather all the students and test each one. If they have questions, just say that you decided to check the results of the hunt. The director found a solution to the difficult situation. Maybe there is some other way, asked the same blonde teacher. Mr. Bai shook his head. Then help me break this damn barrier. If anything happens to my student, you will be the next to be crippled after this monster, the woman threatened. But unfortunately, trying to break the barrier was the only thing they could all do. The firewood crackled dry in the fire. Who looked at the flames thoughtfully. Sitting down next to the dozing Tai, our hero did not take his eyes off his older brother. Suddenly Hu perked up, and out of nowhere, with all the strength he had, he hit the ground with his fist. I advise you to be careful. Your attacks will only harm this body, not me. I can stay in the body until the host dies, or until I myself want to leave it. Turning to Chen, he warned, and he took a fighting stance, offering to fight him to the death. Our hero had no choice but to accept the challenge. But then suddenly the elder brother's hand twitched, and she hit herself in the face. Get out of my body! The voice of the real Hu was heard. How is this even possible? Has my control over this body weakened? Holding his right hand with his left hand, preventing her from continuing to beat himself, the monster did not understand. Finally, he managed to take control of his new body. But while he was distracted by this activity, our hero took him by surprise. And using the technique with renewed vigor, Azaleth tried to expel the demon from the body of his elder brother. This time, his attempt was crowned with success. With a wild roar, the mutant from the three-eyed lilac wolf acquired his true form, and now wondered how Chen managed to wound him. There may not be a way to deal with you in this world, but that doesn't mean it doesn't exist in others. Jiang answered without lifting the curtain of the sacrament. What are you talking about? Are you saying that you are not from this world? The monster did not understand him. But our hero didn't care what he thought. But he would not allow him to continue his existence. Chen gave it his all, but the monster managed to dodge his omnipresent sword. Time after time the boy attacked him. Each time he hit the wolf without touching any vital organs. More often than not, he simply cut off a piece of its fur. How I knew that it was necessary to finish you off on the first tier. Licking his fangs, the monster regretted the missed chance. On the first tier? Did we really have time to meet back then? Asked our hero. But then I remembered that strange girl from whom he saved from werewolves. The puzzle was complete. The monster was going to escape from this forest pretending to be a student. But because of the barrier this became impossible. So that's it. This barrier is here to prevent you from escaping. What are you then? Chen asked, looking at the seemingly invulnerable enemy. It looks like I'll have to tell you everything. My name is Mei, and I have the ability to inhabit anyone. One day, an old man found me and said that I only use my power for villainy, after which he locked me here. Many years have passed, and I have made countless attempts to escape from here. But every time it ended in failure. And as it turned out, this old man not only sealed me here, but also put up a barrier just in case. The monster told the story of his life. After listening to him, Zhang had the following questions. How did Mei manage to break the seal and who helped him in this? The three-eyed wolf was silent for some time, collecting his thoughts. And you are quite insightful. Yes, someone helped me and after my release I used all my strength to teach cultivation to all the monsters in the area. Feeling with his skin that he is not the only one here, Mei explained. Now everything has become clear. 
It was he who was behind the sudden increase in the strength of the monsters even in the lower tier of the forest. And while May was telling our hero about his tragic fate, he was simply stalling for time until help would come. That's right. You know too much. So why should I let you survive? Soaring in the sky like the Antichrist, May laughed with a devilish laugh. Now the boy was surrounded on all sides from the sky, from under the ground, to the right and left, in front and behind, by various creatures. Even Stephen King wouldn't have enough words to describe them. Die in agony! Taking an observation position, May made his final wish. At this time, Hu began to gradually wake up. Sweetly stretching, he began to tell that he just had a crazy dream. Some girl stole him and then took over his body. When he opened his eyes, he began to rub them with renewed vigor after he saw a huge snake, as long as the main street of the capital of the kingdom of Tessin, and a witch opening his mouth right above one. Maybe I'm still dreaming? Who didn't understand and tried to pinch himself? True, this did not help him, and he, hoping that he was simply not fully awake, took a comfortable position and, closing his eyes, again decided to fall asleep in front of the stunned monsters. Elder brother, stop fooling around in front of us in fact the enemy, our hero called out to him. What? So it wasn't a dream? Is this all for real? Who jumped to his feet and started babbling? May had no choice but to watch the two idiots below. Pointing at him, Chen said that he was behind everything that happened in the exams, and was the one who stole Hu's body. What? Has such a monster possessed me? I hope this doesn't affect my attractiveness in the future. Seeing what kind of monster was in control of his body, Hu became worried. His scream made May dizzy. Do you really think that I needed your body? A couple of ensymbols? He was indignant, and the monsters surrounded and surrounded the brothers, narrowing the circle of space between them. Now May was so angry that even he himself was unable to control himself. Kill them! Tear it to shreds! Burning with the desire to quickly deal with the two human bipods that bothered him, he ordered the monster. And they, obeying his order, ran in a crowd towards the guys. What's most interesting is that Tai slept soundly all this time not paying attention to the stomping, robots, and all kinds of noise. Buddy, stop dozing. Get up. Seeing the huge elephant running towards Tai, he shouted that Hu's strength. But Tia did not hear them, and then the brothers grabbed him by the legs, dragging him along. They arrived just in time because a little more, and the elephant would have crushed him. They should have run away as quickly as possible, since they could not cope with so many monsters at once. But May could not allow the guys to escape alive and, calling on more and more monsters, he ordered them to pursue them. To confuse the tracks and make it difficult for the animals to chase them, the brothers ran along the Chigirs. At some point, Sleepy T became entangled in the vines. Why can't we move? Standing still, the brothers were surprised and rushed forward with renewed vigor. But what was their surprise when their friend's boots remained in their hands? Looking back, an interesting picture appeared before their eyes. Thanks to the tension of the force, the tie flew into the sky like a bullet fired from a slingshot. And he flew so successfully that he hit Mei, who was catching up with them, hitting him right in the solar plexus. What was the weakest point in the monster's body, and he, staggering like a stone, flew down? Listen, I still don't understand what just happened. Our hero turned to his older brother. But who himself did not believe his eyes, nor such a fortunate turn of fate. Finally, after such a strong shock, Tai woke up and looked around in surprise, not understanding how he ended up in such a place. Maybe he was sleepwalking? Now Mei was lying on the ground and shaking like a little dog. While he could not control himself, it was as if the scales had fallen from the rest of the monster's eyes, and they fled in different directions. It seems that after the leader lost consciousness, the magic with which he controlled everyone was dissolved. Chen commented on their escape. Scoundrels, if I had not lost my vigilance, I would not have returned to my physical form. May reproached himself for his security, but he believed that not everything was lost as long as he used his power, which no one seemed to be able to defeat. However, our hero flew towards him like an arrow fired from a bow, and while the monster was praising himself and his abilities, the boy rushed past him. Blood flowed like a fountain from the throat artery where his sword struck. Have you already forgotten? The Azalette's sword technique and your strength are sworn enemies, Chen said in an emotionless voice. At this time, on the other free side of the forest, the concentrated teachers and the director managed to combine their forces. A little more, and they managed to make a hole in the barrier. Quickly block the exit, and also tell all the teachers to come in and help the students. Save them at any cost. Without wasting a second, the director ordered, 
All the adults present, including Mr. Bai, obeyed. The monsters in the forest were so scary. A bunch of students died before my eyes. Participants shared their impressions of the hunt among themselves. Most of them did not even think that they could survive this nightmare, and were glad that they did not meet a single strong monster on their way, otherwise they would not have survived. That same mysterious blonde stranger was also among the survivors, and was now looking around, trying to see her savior. Are you still trying to find Chang Guan Xiang Tian? Her best friend called out, and resting her head in her hands, she continued to jabber, saying that taking the initiative and becoming interested in a boy is so unlike her. The girl was not embarrassed by such words. What are you talking about? Is it wrong that I want to thank the one who saved our lives? She said, spreading her hands. Well, her best friend conveyed to her the words of the teacher, who said that all the survivors had already left the forest, and since all Xiang Tian was gone, then he died. This is impossible. Xiang Tian is head and shoulders above everyone else. I'm sure he's fine. Remembering the brilliant combat training of the savior, the blonde assured. Meanwhile, Mr. Bai, going into the director's tent, told him that they had searched the entire forest, but the whereabouts of the monster still remained unknown to them. This means that there is a huge possibility that the monster has possessed one of the students. In principle, the director expected this outcome. But you still haven't restored it. Let me figure this out myself, Anne asked, seeing the old man heading towards the students. In order not to give the monster a chance to escape, many students were injured or even died. I must find and kill this monster with my own hands, said the director, and although his voice was quiet, there was an unsurpassed strength in it. In addition, all the research equipment was already ready, so it was necessary to act immediately as soon as someone noticed some kind of anomaly. Approaching the student tents, the director asked everyone to come up to him and lay out the resulting monster cores on a nearby wooden table so that the director could evaluate and announce the results of the competition. Mr. Bai secretly examined each participant with him. Few of the students were able to collect even five cores, since most of them did not kill a single monster, since they were too strong this time and were lucky that they survived at all. But then Chang Ming came out ahead of everyone. You're just a bunch of trash. It's not that the monsters are strong, but that you are too weak, he said. And tearing off the space belt, he asked for the opportunity to show them the real difference in skill. After which he dumped the contents of the belt on the table. Even Lo and his assistants were surprised by such a large number of cores. That's what power is! You are all pathetic, worms! Min openly mocked everyone. What an arrogant, arrogant and despotic freak! With such a young master, I'm starting to worry about the future of the Huan Yu clan, the blonde commented on his inappropriate behavior. But you still have to reckon with him. He confirms all his statements with his strength. Unfortunately, I don't think there is a stronger student than him, her best friend answered, but she turned out to be wrong. Chang Ming, how can you be so loud with so few cores? was heard behind the crowd. As soon as she heard this voice, the blonde's heart began to beat faster. She found out who it belonged to, and so, when all eyes were fixed on the hole in the barrier, our hero appeared from it. After him walked Hu, carrying a sleeping girl on his broad back, and after them Ti hobbled with a savory smack. How cool it is to be the center of attention! Hu rejoiced at the looks of admiration. If you hadn't said about the treasures, then we wouldn't have wasted our time and would have left here a long time ago. Our hero reminded him. Knew who objected because he believed that there would be treasure in the sealed area, and it was not his fault that there was nothing there. But still, the competition was quite fun, and Chen liked it. So you were able to survive after all, Chang Guang Xiang Tian. And what did you just say? Are you saying you were able to collect more cores than me? Min blocked the way for our hero. Of course, what else could this mean? Zhang sarcastically replied. His confident gait, calm appearance and mocking smile instantly made half of the students of Kargat Academy fall in love with him. Even the blonde agreed that this year's Rookie King looks damn hot. Coming closer, Chen asked the director for a larger table. You see, I want to show one upstart that there is always someone better than him. Looking to the side, Min explained his desire. A couple of minutes later, a wooden table was brought into the clearing which was four times larger than usual. Well, is this table enough for you? Let's see how many cores you've collected, Min asked out of impatience. His causticity did not hurt our hero's pride. Then look carefully and don't be too surprised, he said, throwing his spatial belt up, from which cannonballs rained down. From such a sight, Min was dumbfounded for some time. He was so surprised, 
In the end, the table could not bear the weight of the cannonballs and broke. We didn't see this coming? How was Chang Guang Xiangtian able to collect so many cores? Did he kill all these monsters himself? The surrounding students couldn't believe their eyes. And Lo, wiping his eyes with a handkerchief, bit his elbows with envy because his colonels were also in this pile. Are you satisfied? A person's strength should not be used to look down on others. Looking down at Min, our hero taught him a lesson. That's right! The students shouted in one voice, because he completely trampled Chung Ming's arrogance. Don't read notations. So what if you took the quantity? Quality is a much more important factor. Killing one high-ranking monster is valued higher than killing hundreds of low-ranking ones. Min snapped, and he put his hand in his pocket and taking it out, exposed a yellow core for everyone to see. Well, what can you say about this third-level monster core? I feel superiority, asked Min. And this is really the core of the third level. It looks like Chung had an ace up his sleeve until the last moment. Mr. Bai commented while watching what was happening. Well, he is the young master of the Huayun clan. They always like to do this. The director supported him, recalling the events of the past. And Ming continued to show off his core, while our hero silently crossed his arms over his chest and listened to him. Finally, he got tired of listening to him, and he called out to his older brother. It's too late to call your elder to ask me for mercy. Min gloated as he came closer and closer. But who advised him to shut up, since that was not why Xiang Tian called him? I trust this game to the public and showing two cool things to you? Chen said, knocking fists with his older brother. I'm a professional at this, don't worry, Hu assured him, putting his hand in his bosom, and so slowly stretching out the time. I asked Min what he would say about the Burgundy Red Corps, a scion from the Huayun clan dropped his core from his hands and stared at the fourth level core stretched out in front of his face. Here, even the director and Mr. Bai could not control their emotions, because the only monster of the fourth level introduced into the forest was the same monster against which they created a barrier around the forest. It seems you said something there about the importance of quality, not quantity. Do you have anything to say in your defense? Hu asked, looking at the sun through the prism of a beautiful stone. This is impossible. Director, they definitely cheated. How would they be able to kill a rank 4 monster? Even I couldn't handle it. Min asked for justice, actively gesturing. Oh no, little Cheng is upset, but he asked for it himself, Tai mocked him. Remember that there is always a bigger fish. Therefore, I advise you to behave more restrained next time. Our hero again tried on the role of a sage. His words were the last straw. Bastard! Who are you to talk to me? Ming became furious and taking out his iron claws, intended to slash Chen's face. But Mr. Bai intercepted his hand. We are now on the territory of the Kargat Academy, not the Huayun clan. Watch your behavior, he reminded him. Meanwhile, the director nodded towards the trio, inviting them to follow him. After which, he raised the hem of his kimono and waved it, hiding them from prying eyes. And whirled by the wind, they flew away. What's going on? This is the first time I've seen the director look so serious. The students whispered among themselves, and the blonde could not find a place for herself. Where did the guys get the fourth level core? And looking back, she looked towards the forest. Her intuition told her that there was clearly some secret hidden in this dense forest. While she was pondering the strangeness of this world, her father and the elders from all over the kingdom were pondering her fate. Well, I think apparently the result is obvious. Summed up her personal teacher showing the results of the competition through a special magic mirror. Tomorrow is the 16th birthday, and also the day when we must announce the candidate. Your Majesty, who do you think is best suited for this role? The elder asked the king's decision. After him, the others decided to share their opinions. They believed that after the core competition, it was obvious that Chang Guang Xiang Tian was a much better candidate compared to that arrogant and frivolous Qing Ming and they never thought that the Changguang clan would be able to cultivate such a genius. Since they have come to mutual agreement, a decree must be issued. I want Xiang Tian from the Changguang clan to marry my daughter. The king made a decision. A high-speed wind swept over the mountains, forests, and fields. It was the director who carried the three students to his secluded house. So you want to say that this monster got angry, and because of this, it went into physical form, after which Tai knocked him out, and Xiang Tian finished him off? the old man asked while drinking valerian and looking at the cannonball lying nearby. Director, you know that in terms of annoyingness, I am the best of the best. Who reminded, pointing at himself. Yeah, thanks to his older brother, May went crazy. 
Chen confirmed. It's true, I've never met a more annoying student, the director agreed. But still he could not understand. Could a fourth rank monster really be knocked out so easily? Do you really doubt my strength? Do you want me to repeat that blow right now? Suggested the offended Tai. Okay, okay. I don't think that my room full of antiques will withstand your blow. The old man waved his hands. However, he could not believe that this monster was so easy to kill, and suspected that the students were clearly hiding something and were not telling him. It was pure luck, our hero repeated in a sweet voice all the time. His friend and older brother echoed him. It doesn't matter. Since you killed May, first place in this competition is awarded to you, since this is without a doubt the best result, announced the director. I think he understands that we haven't told everything, but he decided not to ask further. Maybe he just doesn't want to make the situation worse, Chen thought, smiling as he should when winning. And the director, shaking hands with each of them, thanked them for helping him deal with such a problem, because now he can breathe a sigh of relief. Four bright shooting stars flew across the sky, and then they fell in front of the students from Kargat Academy. As expected, the director and the guys returned back. Chang Guangxiang Tian becomes the winner of this competition. At this point, the competition is over. Everyone can be free. The wounded should be examined as soon as possible. Having announced the winner, the old man ordered. But Xiang Tian definitely cheated. Why did he become the winner? I don't believe it. He wouldn't be able to kill a rank 4 monster. Min did not want to put up with this outcome of events. Be silent! How dare you contradict the decision of the director of the academy! If you have questions, you can ask them in my office! The old man growled menacingly, his eyes flashing. Under his gaze, Ming instantly calmed down. Now Mr. Bai was torn to pieces. He simultaneously ordered the reception of the sick and wounded, and also distributed the students into groups and escorted them to their rooms. And the trio hastened to take the still sleeping girl to the portable infirmary, so that she could receive medical assistance there. A blonde was waiting for our hero at the exit. Chang Guang Xiang Tian, I was looking for you, she said, smiling at the sight of the savior. Chen responded by worrying whether her wounds were okay. Yes, I heard that you saved us all, so I would like to thank you. The girl said, this is not necessary, but I hope that we have cleared up the past misunderstandings. Zhang hoped, mentioning the earlier misunderstanding. But the girl assured him that those who sacrifice themselves for the good of other people certainly cannot be bad people. She had insulted him earlier, so she asked him to forgive her. And holding out her palm, Yue introduced herself. Well, I'm Xiang Tian. Nice to meet you. In response, our hero said his name, holding out his hand. But they didn't have a chance to shake hands. Yue's personal teacher appeared between the couple, pushing each other away. You shouldn't rejoice so early. Your problems have just begun, the woman said, glancing briefly at the boy. And taking her guardian by the hand, she led her away, explaining that something big would soon happen and she needed to prepare for it. Forgetting about her savior, the girl hugged the teacher, as if asking for forgiveness for her disobedience. And why talk in riddles again? Isn't it possible to say everything in normal language? For the second time after meeting this incomprehensible woman, our hero did not understand. When they returned to the hostel, the first thing they decided to do was eat well. When that girl woke up, she said that she didn't remember anything. I really thought I could make friends with two girls at the academy, T.A. reasoned, barely having time to stuff his mouth with food again. Don't be discouraged. At least we still have a prize. Just wait for brother to bring all the monster cores to us. Chen tried to support him. And then it was as if the wind rushed into the room. It was who overwhelmed with emotions, who almost broke through the doors. Brother, why are you so excited? Was the main prize really a beautiful lady? Zhang joked, recalling the novels he had read. Oh, so you already know everything? The older brother was surprised. What? Tai and Chen shouted at the same time, widening their eyes. Come on, the prize really was a girl? The guys couldn't find a place for themselves. But if the other two rejoiced at such luck, then our hero did not. Younger brother! Why do you look so upset? Looking into the boy's face, Hu became worried. Yes, yes, you can marry the princess. What's wrong? I didn't understand my friend Tai. I don't even know who she is. And they are already telling me to marry her. I won't accept this. Our hero shook his head from side to side. Just imagine Princess Galan herself. She is the only child of the current emperor. He clasped his hands and began to price up Hu's future daughter-in-law. But under the gloomy gaze of his younger brother, he calmed down, 
So what? Zheng asked, turning to him. Well, that was all who knew about the Emperor's daughter. Although the princess was indeed a rather mysterious person. Only the Imperial family knew what she looked like, and no one had ever seen the princess outside the palace. Is this princess so scary that they decided to hide her? Chen joked. Even if she's scary, she's still a princess. If you marry her, then in the future the whole country will be yours. Figuratively put the power and appearance of Hu's chosen one on the scales. I am not the least bit interested in becoming an emperor. Why should I let anyone decide my fate? Our hero did not agree with the prize in the competition. After which he decided to go for a walk to get some fresh air, since at the moment there were too many factors irritating him. Do you think Xiang Tian will not refuse, right? Tia said thoughtfully. Refuse? Then everything will end very badly. Refusing the emperor is the same as insulting him. We need to persuade him. Realizing the scale of the danger, Hu said, and running out into the street he shouted, Fourth brother, don't make hasty decisions. But there was no trace of Jiang. He decided to take a walk in the very garden in which, by chance, Yue was relaxing with her senior mentor in the gazebo and eating watermelon. Teacher, do you think Cheng Yuan Xiang Tian will agree to the wedding? He doesn't even know that I am that princess, the girl asked while chewing the bones. His family will definitely agree. After all, this is a great opportunity for them to rise again. But I can't say anything about Chang Guang itself, Xiang Tian, the woman answered. If he is one of those who are greedy for power and agrees to the wedding, then I will immediately go to my father and ask him to cancel it, Yue decided. What if he doesn't agree? The teacher rolled her eyes. Her words took the girl by surprise. If he doesn't agree, then I don't know. I'll think about it. Sucking the juice from the watermelon pulp, the girl indulged in thoughts. So you want to say that if Xiang Tian agrees, then you will refuse. But if he refuses, then you will agree. The older I get, the less I begin to understand your generation. Tried to follow the thoughts of her ward with the help of logic as a mentor. Well, then she heard that someone was quickly rising towards the gazebo. Wow, as soon as you started talking about him, he was right there, she thought. Quite recently, our hero was in the forest and simply hunted monsters. And now, out of some fear, they want to marry him to a princess. Then he would not be able to advance in cultivation if there was another person next to him. And then someone's gnawed watermelon rind fell at his feet. Xiang Tian, what a coincidence. Would you like to have a snack together? Yue suggested holding out a piece of watermelon. Why are you here? You urgently needed to go somewhere. Chen recalled recent events. I've already completely figured it out and decided to rest. And I also heard rumors that you are going to marry the princess. This is true? The girl asked. And where did you hear this? Jiang exhaled, taking a piece of watermelon from her. Yue said that she has her own trusted sources, and also congratulated her on her future marriage. Congratulations? What is so good about it? I'll have to marry a man I've never even met. The boy shared his thoughts. But if you marry a princess, then in the future power over the country will pass to you. Many can only dream about this. Yue objected. However, Chen looking straight into her eyes and spitting out seeds, said that if he needed something, he would achieve it on his own. Are you really going to reject the emperor's offer? The girl did not believe what she heard. Our hero sighed. Since this is the decision of the imperial family, if he refuses, it may affect his family. Moreover, he does not want to offend the princess, since he does not want to hurt innocent people. UK would never have thought that someone who once seemed to her to be a boor and a bully could care so much about others. I'm still young, so I only want to focus on cultivation, and I'll sort out the marriage when I become strong enough to negotiate with the imperial family on equal terms. Jiang shared his plans for the future. Wow, these are two mature words for such a young guy. Did you lie about your age? The owner of Blonde Curls was surprised. No, no, what are you talking about? I'm really still just a child. Let's eat watermelon, our hero assured her, putting a piece of fruit into the girl's mouth. I never thought that Xiang Tian could be so interesting. Yue reasoned to herself with pleasure, enjoying the wonderful taste. Her mentor, watching what was happening in the gazebo from the side, sighed once again. She really no longer understands the younger generation. While Chen was spending time in pleasant company, his older brother lay beaten in the middle of the road. The angry Min tried very hard to cause him torment. Answer me. Where is Changguan Xiangtian? He asked, and he threatened that if Hu didn't tell him right now, 
he would instantly go to the next world. Ming walked away for a few minutes, allowing Hu to gather his strength. Qing, the emperor himself decided so. Do you really think that you can win the princess by killing Xiang Tian? Looking at the enemy standing in front of him and feeling the blood flowing down his face, Hu answered, I am the young master of the Huangfu clan. Princess Gelian must marry me. The fact that this senile old man decided to marry the princess to Changguang Xiang Tian is definitely a mistake. Min, losing control of himself, gave his reasons. Cheng, it is forbidden to behave like this towards you on the territory of the academy. The director will not get away with such treatment. Who tried to awaken common sense in Ming, but Min thought out everything on purpose. At his request, his father invited the director and Mr. Bai to visit the Huangfu clan and therefore no one in the academy will now stop him from dealing with his rivals. But who did not expect anyone to come to his aid? After all, his holy attribute is the earth. As soon as his hands touched the ground, rocks began to cut through in the place where Min was standing, and he barely had time to jump to the side so as not to fall down. Taking a breath, Min reproached himself for losing his vigilance. But he was not alone on the field. With him were his mercenaries, who were also incredibly strong. And now they hit Hu with electric shock from all sides. He did not expect such a setup. With so many enemies, he will not be able to hide on the territory of the academy. Therefore, he needs to try to hide at the foot of the mountain. And having hit one of the mercenaries with all his strength, he decided to hide. Follow him! Don't let him escape! Min shouted to his assistant. Meanwhile, our hero and Yue were still chatting in the gazebo. Shang Tian, I advise you not to rush to refuse a wedding proposal. Princess Gelan may be much better than you think, Ye said finally, spinning around herself in front of Chen. What do you know about Princess Gelan? Are you really a member of the Imperial family? Zhang began to guess. You'll find out soon, and now I need to go. The girl answered him flirtatiously, and being in a good mood and good spirits, she left the gazebo. Our hero looked after her for a long time, until her silhouette melted on the horizon. Well, either in a past life or in the present, he could not understand what the girls were thinking about. But then, thanks to his divine sense, he felt an energy explosion. It was as if several holy forces were locked in mortal combat. Unfortunately, Hu failed to escape to the foot of the mountain, and now he was in full view of the Ming. He barely had the strength to even out his breathing, as his legs were already giving way from fatigue. What a brave man! But this ends our game of cat and mouse, Min said, looking at how he was trying to hold out as long as possible and fingering his claws, he imagined how he was tearing the flesh of his opponent. After which, springing back from the ground, he jumped towards Hu. But his deadly attack was prevented by someone's ball lightning. It was our hero who arrived in time to help his older brother. Are you okay? Supporting Hu and examining his wounds, Chen was worried about his well-being. Younger brother, Ching wants to kill you. Get out of here and find the director, Hu asked in a weakened voice. He wanted to say something else, but his body could not withstand such a load. And he, losing consciousness, hung in the arms of his younger brother. Chang Guang Xiang Tian. What a pleasant surprise. Decided to take the initiative and show up first? Min rejoiced at his luck. Now he clearly saw the solution to his problem. If he kills Xiang Tian, then Princess Ge Lan will become his. But our hero was overwhelmed by the same feeling that he felt on that day when he decided to punish the servant of the third wife and her son. Even though my older brother can be annoying and stupid, he still risks himself to help me, and gives his best. On the first day of our acquaintance, he went for the core so that I could win in the beginner's tournament. And in this world, my elder brother became the only one besides my mother whom I can consider as my family. And now his blood is on my hands, and blood must be paid for in blood. Words of thoughts flashed through Chen's head. He extended his hand towards Ming, showing still very fresh bloody stains. As the blood trickled down from his hand, Jiang's thirst for revenge flared up more and more. How dare you hurt him! You will all pay for this! Cheng, today you will definitely die, he promised without raising his voice. His youthful features were distorted, his eyebrows furrowed. I, the young master of the Huangfu clan, am the strongest in Kargat Academy. So why do I feel afraid? Looking into the face of the teenager standing opposite him, Min did not understand. However, it was necessary to end this quickly, before the director and Mr. Bai returned. Well, let's see who dies today, he added fuel to the fire, and using his claws, he decided to be the first to attack using the meteor sting technique. But just like the first time near the library, 
Our hero successfully slipped past all the blades. Still think that you are the strongest in Cargat Academy? It's time to bring you down to Earth. The boy smiled maliciously and faced in a deadly confrontation with someone who dared to shed the blood of his brother. More and more fear crept into Ming's heart. Was he surprised how such a young man could parry so accurately in the air? After all, he had only recently reached the saint level, so how could he control his holy power so perfectly? And then, wielding his sword, Chen was able to move the enemy's hand to the side, and swinging, he slashed it across the pile. But this is impossible. How did he manage to hurt me? I don't believe. He was just lucky. Looking at how the blood appeared on his clothes, Min did not want to put up with this. There is such a thing in the world, excellent student syndrome, when you are the best everywhere and in everything. But sooner or later, someone appears who is superior to you in something, and then you feel insecure and soon begin to hate the person who is superior to you in something. The same thing happened to Cheng. The Poi. After all, a brat like our hero is not capable of anything. He refused to believe it. But our hero, managing to simultaneously elude the tenacious hands of the mercenaries, made a somersault and managed to injure Min from the back. A new wound hit his pride with renewed force. Why? Why does he seem to predict all my attacks? I can't hit him at all. Feeling like his back was becoming all wet with blood, Min could not find a place for himself. You probably don't know, but before I was lenient towards you, Jiang said, coming closer and closer, like a cat to a cornered mouse. For 14 years, he did not kill anyone, and today he also did not plan to take someone's life, but apparently fate makes its own adjustments. Because this impudent person dared to injure his older brother, and this is unforgivable. He did not immediately plan to kill Min, since he wanted to bring him as much torment as possible, and controlling the sword from a distance, he again cut the enemy from different sides. The young man hurriedly crawled back in fear, and Chen slowly moved towards him. What is the use of being the young master of the Huayun clan, or the strongest in the Kargat Academy? I don't care about them. If I want to kill you, I'll just do it, he said. Please don't, please leave me alive, Min begged for mercy. He refused to believe that he would spend the last seconds of his life in humiliation. Having been cultivated since childhood, the technique of which took ordinary people months to master, to learn these movements. He only needed one day, and was therefore considered one of the most gifted geniuses of this generation. Even then he began to look down on everyone. They predicted a rich, bright future for him, and it was believed that it was with him that the Huangfu clan would prosper. Chang Ming, you will not only become the elder of the Huangfu clan, but also the future emperor of this kingdom. The words spoken one fine evening were remembered by Min for the rest of his life. And he did only one thing so that everything would become his and only his. I am the future elder of the Huangfu clan and the emperor. I'm genius. I can't lose. I have no right to lose, he repeated to himself. And he turned to his mercenaries so that they would attack Xiang Tian together. No matter how strong he is, there is no way he can handle so many people. And if they manage to kill him, he will generously reward each of them. Often the mercenaries were people of bad reputation, and they never neglected money. And at this moment our hero began to relive his old days of his past life. There could be dozens of times more opponents, but they are all nothing before his power. Just one movement of the hand and all the mercenaries were cut to pieces by the sword. However, Ming managed to find our hero's weak spot. Changguan Xiangtian, I admit that you are quite strong, but I advise you to stop. You don't want your older brother to suffer even more, do you? So if you want to save him, Cut off your right hand right now. Sitting on top of Hu, he put forward his conditions. Now Chen had to be as careful as possible. I advise you to hurry up or your brother will be finished. Ming hurried him, holding his iron claws near Hu's neck. Suddenly lightning flashed before the children's eyes, and a sudden pain spread throughout Min's body. It was felt most of all in the right shoulder. Instead of cutting off his own hand, our hero cut it halfway through his opponent. Do you have an extra hand? No problem. That means you don't need it. The boy commented on his actions, and he took his brother away. Chang Guang Xiang Tian, how dare you? My father will not forgive you. He will destroy your entire Chang Guang family. Holding his hand, he swore that Min would take revenge for him. If I kill you, then no one will know what happened. Zhang answered him, drawing his sword again. Ming, of course, loved to brag about his fighting skills, but still did not want to tempt fate. And screaming, asking for help, he ran away from the scene of the fight. What a piss, Chen said, watching him run away. But then the rest of the teachers from the Kargat Academy hurried to them. What's going on here? 
Why did you decide to break the rules of the academy? They asked. Please help. Changguang Xiangtian wants to kill me. Without allowing our hero to say a word, Min spoke in his defense. The teachers immediately became worried when they saw what he looked like. Covered in blood, dirty, tattered. And when they heard his words, they began to be completely hostile towards Zhang. Our hero realized that it looked like he would not be able to quietly deal with Min. However, this does not matter, because it is worth taking the elder brother to a safe place as soon as possible. Having thrown Hu onto his back, Chen took advantage of the moment and fled the crime scene. The sun was shining brightly, giving everyone its warmth. But in the cave, where Jiang stayed, it was cool. When Hu opened his eyes, he saw a lot of stalactites right above him. Turning his head, he saw his younger brother lying next to him on a straw mat. He suggested that most likely he died tragically with him. However, I didn't expect that the underground world looked so realistic and at the same time unusual. Younger brother, forgive me for not being able to save you from Chang Ming. Now I can't retire. Hu prayed, bursting into tears. Chen woke up from his tossing and turning. Big brother, can you stop shouting? I've already taken care of Min. He asked, waking up. But I need to become a ghost and find him. I will haunt him for the rest of my life. Wait, what? Xiang Tian, aren't you dead? Hu looked at his younger brother in surprise. But if they didn't die, why then was everything covered in blood? This is not blood but a medicinal berry that I found in the forest. Its juice will help stop the bleeding, Chen explained. Because of his words, Hu thought that since the berry was medicinal, it was also tasty, and he put it in his mouth, asking Jiang to tell him what happened to Ming. But the berry turned out to be tasteless, and he spat it out. I made it so that Min could no longer use his hand. The original plan was to quietly get rid of him, but teachers came to his aid. Our hero recounted recent events. What did you do? He is the only son of the Huang Fu family and his clan will definitely be looking for you. Fourth brother, you urgently need to run away from here and as far as possible, Hu advised. But Chen shook his head. After all, if he runs away, then the Huang Fu clan will not leave the Changguang family alone, and the boy cannot allow his mother to be dragged into this. I understand, but unfortunately the director and Mr. Bai went to visit the Huang Fu clan. Now there is no one at the academy who can help us. Who grieved. Only our hero was pleased with this news, because if the director is now together with the head of the Huangfu clan, then this can only work to their advantage.